Hello, how are we doing? We're back, City Skylines, let's jump in. I've been working behind the scenes at improving the city. I'd said that I wanted to do stuff to the highway and learn a little bit more about the road tools and stuff, so that's exactly what I've been doing. Which is why I'm a little bit later today than I was the previous days. <clears throat> hey, Scuba. I think it's just me and you here today. <laughs> previous days, we had a, a, quite a few people in chat beforehand, but I think I left the uh, stream schedule thing up for a little while longer, you know, like um, letting people know that there's going to be a stream. So, um, basically, picking up from where I left off yesterday, there was a large industrial area here, which I've now basically removed. And I've smoothened out and pushed out the terrain a little further. I've built my own highway, so I still have to use the one that's coming in from the edge of the map, obviously. But from here, mine, my one begins. So it was obviously quite hilly terrain. I tried to flatten it as much as possible. And then I built this, this kind of um, halo interchange thing again, uh, which is based loosely off of the one that I failed my driver test on a few weeks ago. But um, yeah, it actually it was pretty fun making it. It took a while, but I feel like I'm starting to get it you know, in terms of the rules about how these things work. And then I realized that you can go in and remove the traffic lights, you can remove all those crosswalks and things like that. So quite happy with it now, uh, generally speaking. So we have our, and I've actually tested it. People do seem to use it correctly, so that's good. Uh, one thing that I guess would be, no, that's fine. I was gonna say maybe they can cross over and get into that lane, I'm sure. It doesn't say they're going to do that, but I think they would. Um, because, yeah, you could have... Yeah, no, that's right, I think. No normally, the lane that opens up is the one that's for the first exit, so it this could be moved over, I guess. I just I wonder if I could do that really quickly. If I can't, it's no problem. We'll just leave it. Yeah, it'd be more like that. That way... Yeah, 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 because you can see the dotted line now showing that this new lane is kind of, like, opening up. But it doesn't look quite as good on that right bit there. So I'll probably just leave it. Let's just leave it in case I break the whole thing. I'm sure it's fine. But um, yeah, that's probably what I would do then in the future. Just move that a little bit over, move that one over. Actually, I can connect that again. I think this will be okay. Let's just try that for a little bit. And hello, uh, Thrifty, Lodge, Lodge, Valerian, Zohar, Nicola, and DJ. What game is this? This is City Skylines 2. City Skylines 2. Yeah, so let me just try that. I'm just going to move this over. So... You can actually move it based on the lane, which is pretty cool. I like that feature a lot. That changes that. But then we have this little issue. So if I get two lane road. I don't know if I can push that any further or not. This is why I wish I had move it, because if I could just move that in, it would smoothen things out quite a bit. But I think what I can do is just really just reconnect it. To this bit and it might look a bit better so let's try that I think so anyway uh yeah that's fine it's a little it looks a little wonkier than it was before I was trying to make these lines as seamless as possible but it's not bad it's like the path is just ending really more than anything I think that's because it's a highway road not a if it was a two-lane one-way road, then the path would go all the way down and around. But that's kind of strange. You shouldn't really have a path on here anyway. But I don't think I can do anything about that apart from making it all a highway. Um, so I guess if you had a three-lane one-way highway there... No, it doesn't really change the smoothness of it. Anyway, okay, well, it works. It's probably it, Functionally, it's probably a little bit better now that as they're going around this way, they can merge onto that lane and take the first exit. Anyway, so just to catch up where we're at, so effectively yesterday, the last few couple of days I've been streaming. Oh, sorry, is the roadway heading north? Class doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly, right? No, I should do that. I should change this to, um, yeah, instead of being in the highway section, I should grab the three-lane one-way road, right? So then it's like, that's exactly, so Scuba is referencing, like, why I failed my test, basically. <laughs> so I suppose it would be like this underneath here. That was the difference, except there's no path. I don't know if there's a version without a path. Oh, you can get rid of pathways here, I think, can't you? I don't know. doesn't really matter. But yeah, good one. <laughs> but that is basically what would have happened. Right, so just to catch people up, just again, just people who are just joining. Um, this is a city we started two days ago now. 
So we've done two streams with it since. And I had a few problems and issues trying to get commerce going. I mean, everything was working fine, but I've just been slowly learning the game, having a bit of issues with it. So we had an industrial area here previously. I've deleted all of that now, and we're going to reconnect the roads back up. So I said that in between streams, I just wanted to build my own highway and my own interchange. Because previously, the highway was going off over here. Really awkward area. It's just where it started, and it, it comes in like along the coast, and then it kind of comes to this bit of land. So I just deleted it all and pushed it all the way back so now it's just a floating bridge it shouldn't be a problem the highway outside of our bounds still loops around that way you can come down and we'll merge it back on to get on here so i can do that now um so yeah we're just going to play around with roads for a minute uh connecting back up the highway connecting uh, reconnecting a new sort of industrial area here rebuilding the farms that kind of thing so we've got a lot to do thanks benice do you feel any difference in performance or graphics since they patched some of the issues yesterday? Uh, no. We actually got the patch midstream yesterday, and uh, some of the things that they say they fixed, I'm sure there's fixes for people, I haven't noticed anything yet. I still have the loading and unloading issues that I had before and everything. Alright, so, and you'll see that, um, because I just deleted the industry, I haven't really let time play yet, so... People's job, everyone, no one has any jobs anymore, all industry is gone. Uh, so we'll have to just redo all that, and then I need to move these buildings. But I wanted to be careful with it, because they can be very expensive to move, and we only have 1.3 million, so... Some of them, I think, can cost, you know, 300,000 just to move it. So it's like, okay, I can only move a couple of buildings, basically. Uh, so we'll have to be careful with that. I could take a loan, I guess, to do that. And I need to reconnect that as well. Okay, so first off, we'll reconnect the highway. Again, because I don't have full map control yet, I'm just going to reconnect it into here. This is actually a highway. Just a very small... Um, Two-lane highway, bi-directional. Bi-directional? Yeah, that's the right word, right? Bi-directional. <laughs> it sounds weird to say that. Anyway, so this is going to look a bit ugly, but it's just to connect it up and make sure it works. They should be able to get on and off it just fine. Uh, okay, so let's grab this. And I'm just going to basically feed you in. Uh, like so. I have rail now as well, so we'll probably move that railway. Alright, we need to reverse the direction of this one. Nice. Alright, simple as that. You're coming in off a mini highway road, I guess, and then the real highway begins. And then same down there. So the... Missing connection points, that's a rail. We never had trains go through here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I noticed that this rail just goes off to nothing. It just ends. It's just part of the map. So, not sure what the deal is there, but this is the actual edge of the map connection point. And you can make that anywhere, as far as I know, so you can move that if I wanted to. So, I don't really need rail right now. We'll probably have it going up towards the industry area somehow. But right now, we're okay. Uh, and hey, hey, Alina. Recession income, yeah, big time. I finally understand that this game is beyond saving. Okay. Highway roundabouts? Hell yeah. Joseph, hey, appreciate that a lot. First time in the stream. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much for the super chat. It'll pop up on screen in a moment. It usually seems to be a bit of a delay with it. But thank you for kicking off a stream with a super chat, man. It puts me in a damn good mood. <laughs> for reals. You can go um quite a long time without even getting one, so to have one right away, it's like, yes, worth it. <laughs> Alright, so gonna, I kind of just want to flatten out the terrain here, and then we'll bring that road, like an arterial road, and connect it around to this one. Uh, and then we'll have to redo the industries here. I'll probably just delete these industries. They can go. So, since loading back in, there was a forest fire, and the trees all got eradicated. But it looks like now that I've loaded in, they're coming back. I mean, they look small now. That wasn't the case before. They looked the exact same before, but now they look small, and like they're saplings, almost. But it still says wood zero. So I'm not too sure if I should just be planting my own and growing my own forest industry, which you can do, which you can do, or or do I just wait for it to come back? I don't know. Um, but we can always remove these, I guess is what I'm saying. Thanks again, Joe. All right, let's continue. So, uh, oh yeah, so I guess I should mention this. So basically, made this little interchange myself. So tried to flatten out the terrain a bit, and I was trying to pay attention to how it would look. So tried to make it as kind of sym as symmetrical as I could, really. Um, so we're coming in, we get take our exit up here, and then we have a, a list of options of where we want to go. Right-hand lane will take us, obviously, straight 
um, to the right. You can go straight, I guess, if you wanted to. And it's the same with these two inner lanes if you wanted to go further around. The idea would be that well, the middle lane is supposed to take you to that exit. But the way it should go is that this... No, that's actually right, yeah. <laughs> that's right. And then the inner lane will take you further around. But what's supposed to happen is you can move out then into this lane. I guess you can do that, yeah. Normally there'd just be road markings for that kind of thing. I guess that's what I'm getting confused about. Anyway, so we really only have one way into the city. I just know that we're probably going to go this way in the future, so that's why I made this the way it is. Um, so yeah, so we take a right, we go down this extreme hill, and we'll have this like left-hand turn here that will take you up and around to the industry. I think there's some natural resources here for fertile land. So I didn't really mean to build quite completely over it, but that's totally fine. We can bring this in and have some sort of farm here. Bring this in and have a farm here as well, maybe. Uh, and then push up and around. So that's that's the plan, anyway. High residential is broken. Any idea why no one moves into income into low-income residential buildings after complaining about high rents? The entire building has zero out of 80 residents until it gets abandoned. It's broken? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I haven't gotten that far yet. Alright, two. What kind of road is this? Just a standard four-lane road. I was just checking if it had a divider line in it. Turn on contour lines, then we'll just bring this around. Hey, CoFlow. Appreciate that a lot as well, man. Thank you. I think this is where I'll have to start moving these buildings. So this is going to be our transformer. I'll read that in a second, won't I? Maybe I'll read it when it actually pops up. So that people who watch the VOD see it at the same time. Right, transformer station. So the electric grid is coming in from there. The um, power is coming in from there. Got it. Hmm. <laughs> it's just floating, actually, because I changed the terrain. Yeah, that's okay. We could just have it like actually just on the edge of the map, I think. Or maybe just even there or something. That connects us to the grid, and then we get our power lines. Alright, cool. So that's power moved out of the way. Uh, Koflo, thanks again for the super chat. He says, you're my favorite YouTuber, and seeing you go live on my day off is a win. I love your new Satisfactory series. Keep it up. Hey, appreciate that a lot. Thank you. It's very, very kind words. Um, Ed Evans. Hey, wait, it's accurate. Humans love to complain, but do nothing to improve their situation. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The the issues, I haven't had that issue. We'll get to that a bit later. I haven't really had much high density demand at all, but my city's kind of small and fragmented and we're rebuilding it now. I think today what I'm going to do is just build up big suburbs until and just get the ball rolling for them making money and then try to do more medium and high density because we've done that, but we just always have huge demand for low density. I was trying to tax them. I tried to ease taxes, change uh, the job situation, all this kind of stuff, and it just nothing was really working. I also realized that in this game, I guess, you don't really need to build blocks of commerce. I thought you did, but it doesn't seem like it. You need to have your commerce more quickly accessible to residents. They don't seem to want to travel that far for commerce. Um, so we have this issue where it's like, not enough customers. But when we started relocating the commerce closer to people's houses, like here, then they're totally fine. Um, and it makes sense, because of the type of commerce it is. They're not high-density commerce, so I think it's not the type of thing people move very far to get to. They're like the more local shops. Uh, and they don't seem to produce as much noise as they used to in the previous game. So there's just been a few things like that I've had to learn. Uh, what is this? A fire watchtower. We can move that as well. I will have logging industry out here. It's such a shame it costs 11,000, but I'll just move it there for now. All right, and we have to move this as well. So a recycling center. Let me figure out where this is actually going to go. And then I need to move the communications tower as well, the telecom tower. So we have this pretty large incline to l terrain here, and it's got to go up at some point, so I'm just wondering when. And then I was trying to think like, okay, well we could have like an actual tier of like raised, you know, a road that comes up and then an another plateau where things get built on top. That seems to make sense for me for the stuff like the telecom tower. Maybe even the recycling center could be up somewhere up there, close to the highway maybe. 
Yeah. The good thing about this is, you know, if they... If there was a bunch of buildings here, and then just a, a ramp that takes you onto the highway, you can easily then just loop around and get out and go the opposite direction if you want. I don't need to build any more interchanges that really make it more complicated. It's quite a dynamic one that can take you wherever you want. Um, sort of, anyway. Alright, so yeah, I think that's what I'll try. We'll see if we can get a road to kind of come up here more naturally. Put the telecom tower up here, as well as the recycling center. So that, let's see how big that building is. Or actually... Hmm. The other thing is, they can actually access the highway if we bring this across again. This is just a very small, again, highway road that was built into the map originally. But it does connect to our <laughs> highway roundabout, I guess. And uh, continues off, so that might be a good place for them to have it, because they should have highway access here in the industry area. This is going to be a big industry area. Who actually even leaves their house to shop anymore? You guys are just so privileged in America. <laughs> Loads of people. It depends, right, on what you're getting. I never... So during COVID and before, I lived in an apartment, so I just got um, everything delivered. But then when I, I got a car recently, and now I go out to get things. Because I was sick of ordering groceries and stuff that would be just completely the, the wrong stuff would arrive. You order, like, steak and vegetables and, like, pepper sauce and, and chips, and then it's like the steak doesn't arrive. And it's like, well, what the hell do I do now? And this happens so many times. Uh, your comma should be next to high dense houses. That way you don't have the not enough... Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's what we've observed. I was trained not to do that, kind of, because I thought noise pollution, right? You think, well, having shops too close, like too many shops too close to um, resident, uh, residences is going to bother them a lot. These are the, the yellow buildings are the ones producing noise. So noise pollution sources. So... These are quite loud, but it doesn't seem to really have a problem, like, for these houses. They don't seem to care. Because noise pollution is here from blue to red. Really not that bad. Like, it's blue in this area, and it's just one street over. Do we, we do have some trees, actually. I wonder if that helped just slightly. Maybe. So that was the thing. Like, in City Skylines 1, you do not put commerce that close. That's why people ended up having these, quote, buffer zones of offices between residential and commerce. It's just this area of zoning that didn't um, didn't complain about noise. But it just seems like you can get away with it being a lot closer this time. But it might just be the case because it's low density. That could be the case. So, that's just, it's been fun to learn. You know, not comp that's not a complaint against the game. It's just been something I've been learning. All right. Continue this road. Oh, yeah, I keep saying. I'm trying to make a decision where this is going to move to. And it can get much bigger. I do like the idea of it being somewhere up here near the highway. I think that makes kind of kind of makes sense. Let's try that. So I'm just going to level this area out just a little further. It's actually pretty level anyway, but just um, just to be safe. I'll choose maybe here. Create a sort of plateau and then just soften it around the edges, I guess. All right. Won't need a particularly busy road up here, I don't think. And is there any... I guess we should check any resources I'm going to be killing here. Oh, yeah, there is a little patch of good land. That's interesting. We could use that. Hey, hey. You know what? I'm loving the super chats. Appreciate that, Ed Evans. For the super chat, and he says, I love your YouTube channel. I'm in Crawley on Sunday for swimming. Interesting. <laughs> I've been looking at... Um, Do you go to K2? Because I've been looking at um, joining a gym. Now that I've got a car, I want to go to the gym once or twice a week. So uh, I've been thinking about K2 as this big leisure center. But there's a couple other ones around as well. The thing is, though, you have to like, I think you have to like book lanes and stuff. And it's kind of annoying. If it's really busy, it's not really ideal. Although I probably would be going at less busy times. Right, I'm just going to grab this and build straight off of it just to get a 90 degree angle from that. something like that to start with so we could put some industry in there so obviously we're not joining on to the uh, thing just like that more just now this is a little not sure if this would really happen but basically we want this to change to a one lane a simple curve 
Uh, the thing that I'm not sure would happen is there's an already like an on-ramp. It's a pretty big one though. Yeah, I feel like this would have to be much further down really. Tell you what. Let's get the highways, four lanes, upgrade this. That looks a bit better. And they've got a, a longer run up. I just don't know if that would ever really happen. You know, this is where people are supposed to come on to go off. And it's also going to be a place where people are merging. That seems like obviously not ideal. <laughs> But it's too late. I mean, the fertility is here, so I gotta make use of it. Or, or we could join down here, actually, thinking about it. That would probably be a better option, thinking about it. Yeah, that would make more sense, I think. I've been watching what darn plays video six hours today. Oh my god. Thank you. K2? I have a composition. Composition or competition? What does composition mean? Yeah, it's funny. I've lived here for pretty much like five minutes away from K2 for maybe two and a half years. Didn't even know about it until three months ago. <laughs> until I actually started driving. Um, because my instructor took, us past it, took me past it and then I realized like, oh, this is actually really close by. Although Rosie says she told me it was there, and I just don't. I guess I didn't listen. Kind of nice. I just want to change that just slightly. I guess we have to bring this all the way to, like, here, and then do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, so I would actually make this a little roundabout if I can, just so people can double back on themselves and get out. Alright, three lane again. We'll just get rid of that bit so it's symmetrical again. Better. Alright, good. Making progress. So yeah, this would be a nice area for, like I said, the farms, and also if we push that road further along this way, we could cut in for the recycling center, I think, would be a good idea. And then they have an easy way to get onto the highway. We don't have an easy way to... Yeah, we have to find a way to get here. I assume, like, we'll bring this down to the main road down there. Or we could even do something where we join it to there, perhaps. It's a little awkward, because that's raised. Did you know if you unselect the snaps and use the swap tool, you can move the road slightly? Yeah, I did that when I was doing this. Um, when I was doing out that area. Yeah, it's really nice. It's interesting because when I was doing it and curving this, I was actually like just moving it. it. It was really weird. The whole three lanes were just moving really fluidly. Not snapping to anything. It was like I could move the entire semicircle, if you know what I mean. It was cool. I almost thought I was breaking something, but it just worked, so all good. All right. Um, check that again. Yep. So that's going to be a farm. Let's do that farm now, I guess. Specialized industry. So we had a... In the budget panel, in the production area... Oh, time hasn't played, so it doesn't show me. Well, I think everything's gone now because I've deleted all my industry. I was going to say I could use that to inform myself about what we should need. But I guess we'll just put down what we think we'll need. So chickens can go, livestock can go anywhere. Grain is specific to fertility. Vegetable, should we start with some classic grain? I would say so. I wish you could do what you do in like Banished and a few other games where you can move that circle. Because I'd like the building to be on the right of this area. Just move the circle over to the left so I could draw like a nice big square field. But I guess we'll just put it in the center. And deal with it. So we're moving off of the right angle here. Okay. Alright, there we go. Oh, 
121 Oak Street. And then we want... Uh, so I guess I could actually bring the road in now next to that. Delightful. Make it look Another a bit more deliberate. From our erstwhile hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh. I'm a Melburnian too. Oh my god, 2.25 a.m. Hello from Melbourne. Surprised I caught you live. Love your work. Thank you, Tim. Hello, hello, little. Are you going to get the farms from the highway? Yeah, get to the farm. So probably something like this road will come down. Hang on. <laughs> I haven't decided, but I think this road's going to continue straight, and we could either merge it here or... Even have another smaller roundabout again. It was just that that was raised that makes it a bit awkward, but something like that. Or just bring it down and put it onto this main road so that people can come out that way. But it probably would make sense to connect it over to the industrial area over there. Or to bring this down and connect it onto the main road so cars can go up to the industrial area on this one. Something like that. There's also going to be multiple, right? There's another one here and another one here. There's another patch there. Probably want to use those if I can. But apart from that, I think I'm good. The other industry then would be that's ore mining. Ore mining out here on the other side of the highway. Not much though, generally speaking. We're already getting some over there, coal for our coal power plant. All right. Uh, so, recycling center. That's what we were actually trying to move so I can link back up the road. Got it. So let's just grab this. And I would bring that road dead straight further. And then have the center on the side of it. It's actually super full. Gotta add some stuff to it. Definitely needs it. Stored garbage is full. Processing speed. Oh yeah, we increased its budget just at the end of the stream yesterday. Uh, so I guess actually just really quickly I could check what sizes are those modules. So we have a storage extension. We might need, seen as it needed it before. Hazardous waste collection. Collects hazardous waste, allowing garbage to be processed at higher speeds. Increases the tonnage capa uh, processing by one per month. So we're at 10, so 11 tons per month. And enables the center to maintain a much larger fleet of trucks. Now, we actually didn't have that many trucks in use before. It was just that we weren't burning enough or processing enough. It is a recycling plant, after all. Um, so yeah, probably, so let me just check that real quick. How big is this? Not that big. Looks like maybe, just to eyeball it, maybe like eight grid spaces. And storage, maybe six, something like that. All right, let's move it. Wonder, does it need its own road? Um, it might look good if it has its own road. Let's do that. So, is that a one-way? Yeah. Okay. Make it the other way, depending if it needs it or not. Um, but yeah, so now we have room for the extension on this side. So that's fits pretty nicely. The garbage truck depot, that just has to go onto the back instead of the parking. And the hazardous waste, sorry, this one, could go out the side. You can add a couple of those to get more efficiency. All right, so there's our recycling center. Yeah, I guess I'm just trying to think, how are we going to link this up? What's this? This is our bus depot. I feel like this kind of stuff should go up here as well. Buses come out this way. Just got to find a way to get down smoothly. I think you can add those multiple of those, yeah. I think so. Most buildings seem to have a few that are pre-baked, pre right? You just It's like a standard upgrade, and then a few that are modules that you can just keep adding on to keep getting more efficiency.
Because I'm looking at this point here, and I'm like, could that be just like a roundabout or something, and then cars could join on that way? Or do we want them to go down here? Using this four-lane road. The city road might be quite busy in the future, so I don't know. What I could do is we could branch this off and send it under and over, over that way. Might be a bit weird, but let's try it. Just be a one-way road, just for people joining on, because they can get out to the highway this way, so that's fine. Just for them to join on. And this comes right down from the city anyway. That could be good. All right, let's give it a go. One-lane road. We'll set it back early enough. We might have to lower the terrain here, though, again. Gonna be a tunnel. It should just be able to fit under the bridge, I think. <clears throat> okay, looking all right. I just push this along a little further. We'll be smoothing it out again. Alright, see how that goes. So, one lane road. The zoning actually makes it hard to see. Okay, didn't want to do that. We want to do a curve, please. I don't know why it's doing it so weirdly. I thought we could just branch... Oh, I know what I need to do. Uh, we need to make it a three-lane asymmetric road. Or add another lane here. Yeah, five-lane. So... Damn. I'm trying to just give them a lane, an extra lane on the edge. <laughs> That's basically what I'm trying to do. So a five lane asymmetric road. We have three lanes on this side now. We should just be able to branch off one. I think. Yeah, it didn't let me position that, though. Normally, it lets you say, like, oh, maybe I have to do the turning off the grid thing, like you said. Try that again. All right, so this is... That's what we had. Totally fine. Basically, somewhere along this segment. Four-lane divided road. Five-lane asymmetric. Yeah, I can't shift it. Map to existing geometry. That's what I'd want to do, but it's facing the other way right now. Maybe if I just do this. I hate the way it defaults to facing a certain direction. I don't know why it's done that. It's putting the third lane on the other side now. There we go. I want, but I don't know why it's messed up the other stuff. Let's just test this for a second, though. Okay. It's actually... It, uh, <laughs> so close, but uh, almost has done what I want. 
But yeah, I just need these to kind of blend a bit better. I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I just make this a five lane a bit further down. Seems to handle that okay. So yeah, let's do this. That's nicer, right? That bit's a bit weird just because of the hill. I can't really change that right now. Yeah, that's okay. Whoops. So this will have to stay as a one-way, I guess. Mind you, got it. Yeah, I know. A little finicky on my my part. I'm still learning, I guess. But yep, yeah, we got it. Got it in the end. Uh, let's give this one way in as well. I should stay one way. I mean, I don't see why cars would pull in and then go. They just can't go that way. So yeah. All one way. Looks kind of cool. It does it, when it when it works. It looks so nice, you know, when it just like the lanes go correctly into whatever they have to do. Love seeing that. So this is your route. The town takes it to you, and then you can go onto the highway, and you can just go back in if you want it that way. Uh, that might be a little strange, but I think it'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, what else needs to go up there? So, we have the coal power plant could also go up there, maybe. The bus depot, I think, would make sense somewhere up here. That's the recycling center. We have the telecom tower as well, actually, yeah. That could be moved. Let's, um... I would say put that just somewhere in at the back here. I don't see a problem with that. 203,000 though, so much money. This still has room for its big upgrade on the side. Right, oh, wrong one. This one. Yeah. Look, there's a rail line coming in here. It's like um, Minas Tirith or something. <laughs> a mini version of it. I'm excited to let time play and see people actually using these roads finally. Okay, so. Next thing is a bus depot. So, again, another situation like this, I think, where we just cut the road in and then build off of that. It's kind of like a big services area. You might have a problem with that later. Yeah, maybe. If, if a lot of people are taking this to come in, it could end up being really busy. But I think they'll be fine. I don't know. <laughs> I think they'll be fine. We'll see. If not, we could always give them another way down and out. It's gonna place place it more centrally. Let me just. I need to check its upgrades first because that's the thing. I always. How many tiles is it? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on the side. And interestingly, oh no, this is turn sideways, yeah. So it has to, the building goes on the back of it or on the side. Okay, yeah. Got it. And what else is there? There's the electric buses, which I guess can just be added on. All right, so we got one upgrade then. So if it's doing seven, pop it out here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. That will fit on the side then in the future. So again, these guys come out. They have to turn right. Which means they'd have to go that way. Yeah, there's a lot going that way, isn't it? Thinking about it. We could give them a more direct route. Maybe I'll leave it in the... I'll just... I'll never get anything done if I stare at that for too long. So we'll just leave it. But if I see problems, like, you know, we can adjust it then. Plenty of room over there. That's the idea this time around, to leave lots of room for things. Medical clinic, parking lots, full power plant, firehouse. What do we have? Fire fighting helicopter depot. Could probably come up here as well. This is going to have its own upgrades. So let me just check that as well real quick. 
What do you guys have? Oh, you don't actually have any upgrades. Okay. Whatever then. It's gonna cost me another 240,000 to move it. An inch. Forget it. Find where it is then. All right, coal power plant. We'll stick that, we'll leave that down where it is because that's gonna be in the industrial area. Oh, that's just terrain. I thought that was like a weird road. Okay. Hello, I'm confused on the game still. Lol, do you know, do you maybe know what to do with my transformer station? One side I use, but the other side is still staying not connected, but I can't connect it. Uh, transformer should only have one connection. The other connection is the road. So it needs to be able to connect underground through electric cables. Uh, it'll connect directly onto a road, unless it's a highway. Highways don't have cables running underneath. So you feed in the big power lines to one side of it, and then you feed the electrical cables. It'll automatically snap them onto a road, but if you didn't place it on a road, you can grab the electrical cable. If you press page down, you'll put it underground, and then you can connect it straight from the building to where you want to bring it. Hopefully that helps. No money? Yeah, I know. We're really low on money, so I can't really move too much more uh, until we hopefully make some. We'll start zoning some industry though soon. So let's uh, link up this industry road. So we're this industry section with its roads, with freeform. We could send this straight. Where's that highway thing? There it is there. So I'll have to send this. I feel like I need to, f I should have flattened this terrain a bit more even. Just a little bit more now. These trees starting to come back. Now they all still say zero wood, so I'm not sure about that. I forgot to say hello. Hello. You definitely understand. Oh, I understand this game very well. To the level I'm at. <laughs> Maybe not much further than that, though. Flatten here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> It'll uh, just pop back in. Let's just undo that bit of the road. We'll flatten the area first and then put it down. Hey Jeremy, how's it going man? Don't want it to be a complete basin down here, so we'll just raise it just ever so slightly, just lower this bit. Maybe start from here. Should be a bit more of a steady incline, I think. And I might have to get rid of these trees because I don't think they're gonna grow back anytime soon. They seem to just grow faster if I just paint them down myself, but that does cost money. Bad. That's good. Good to hear. I'll catch people up on what's changed now in just a second as well. Since yesterday. Alright, that should be good enough. Alright, so. I wanted to work on some stuff since the last stream yesterday. Effectively, I deleted all of the industry, so there's no jobs currently, but no one's. I haven't let time play yet, so nobody knows. Um, so the other thing I did then was so I removed all the industry there. There's still some buildings that haven't. Uh, put in their place just yet. Remove the, what's it called, the like farms and all of that, everything pretty much went. Uh, so now we're starting to rebuild it. I built, I moved the highway, so the highway is now starting here, coming around this way and going straight over towards the very small highway kind of on-ramp. Um, hey, Jay Hart, hey, appreciate that. He says, good luck on the next driving test. I actually passed, I passed two weeks later. So I, I failed on um, a roundabout kind of like this. It's a really long story, I won't go over it. People have heard it uh, a few times now, and I spend a very long time talking about it. The, the TLDR 
is I had a really good run, great, great test overall. Made very few errors. I think I had two minors in total. And just coming to the end, the test center is like here, and this is the, um, the uh, what's it called? Roundabout that I had to go around. I was approaching from this side, right? There was um, an equal kind of looking um, side on it, so it was symmetrical, if you want to think of it that way. I was approaching from here, but let's just pretend I'm approaching from here. Effectively, what was happening was this entire lane was closed due to roadworks, so I, everyone was piled onto this one. We're all moving up or whatever, it's totally fine. Um, and then it opens, actually, maybe I should do that here. It opens to three lanes, not just two. Oh, it's because um, <laughs> we're left-hand drive. So yeah, it opens to three lanes, uh, not just two, just like this. So basically, two lanes, road works the whole way up, and then suddenly we have three lanes. So I stayed in the middle where I was, and where this was going to take me was around and around, and then you're supposed to kind of push out, and it would have taken me this way, onto a motorway. And that's what would have failed me, because I'm not allowed to go on the motorway. Now, I didn't do... I didn't actually go on the motorway, but that's where I was headed. And the... This was, like, right at the end. And we were just trying to go over to the test center. And I'd realized I'd put myself in the wrong lane, because of the, the roadworks and the signs were blocked and stuff. It did. But I knew that, generally speaking, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can be in the wrong lane, you can go the wrong way. As long as you're not endangering anyone and crossing lanes that you shouldn't, you're totally fine, right? So I was like, it's fine. We're totally fine. But it just happened to be the case that I put myself in a lane... That would have ended up on the motorway, which meant that uh, that would have been a fail. But the thing that's um, weird about the roundabout I failed on is the motorway starts here. And on this side, the road looks the exact same, just like this, but it's an A road. So often in the different routes that we take um, for doing driving tests, the different routes that the testers take you on, you go down this way. So you get onto this, you know, what feels like the same road. Same three lanes, same speed limit. Everything's the same. It's called Pease Pottage Roundabout, if anyone wants to look it up. P-E-A-S-E. -E. And, uh, so I was used to going on that road. I didn't know this was, like, the delineating line of where the motorway begins and where the A road ends, because it looks the same. And it doesn't necessarily tell you or anything. So, Heading around, and then he was like, I was here, and he's like, you can't go on the motorway. And I was like, oh, but I, I have to. <laughs> and he's like, you're not allowed. You cannot do that. And I was like, oh. So I had to kind of slow down, stop, check my mirrors, and then merge into a different lane. And I failed my test because of that. So my instructor was like, oh, man, that's so such a technicality. You can't go on it because you're learning to drive. And if you had your license, that is the thing you're supposed to do. But, you know. And with the roadworks and all the other little things, it's like, oh man, to fail on that right at the end. What a shame. So he managed to get me make swaps with other people and got me a test within two weeks, uh, which is really, really good. Because most people have to wait like two or three months. I had to wait quite a long time for my first booking, for instance. But he was like, you're, you're able to drive. Like, you should be able to pass. So went, sat the test again, and uh, I passed, and I had zero faults, zero minors. Totally, totally fine, so... Thankfully. I was really not confident the second time around, but at least got it, so all good. I rebuilt the roundabout in CS so he could explain to everyone how he got screwed the first time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's not even nearly as complicated as the real roundabout because it needs this side onto it as well. And even more than that. There's, so this side would have two places to join on, so it's, it's a mess. But anyway, it's all good. You know, passed in the end, that's all that matters really. And I think it was a massive technicality, and it's bullshit. <laughs> I was driving the other day and had a similar thing happen with a lane change, roadworks in a new tunnel, and, and though I thought that turn. Yeah, see, I did the safe thing, though. I wouldn't have changed lane. You're not supposed to change lane. That's what people... People endanger each other when they do that, because it's like, oh, shit, I'm in the wrong lane. They jolt over to another one and whatever. Um, I wouldn't have done that. I was just... I was like, oh, I'm in the wrong one. I'll stay in my lane, which is 99% of the time the right thing. I mean, it is 100% of the time it's the right thing to do, but because I didn't have a license... I wasn't allowed to go on the south part of this roundabout <laughs> onto a motorway because it's you're not allowed to do that. You are allowed when you're with a driving instructor, but you're not allowed with a driving examiner. So it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it's all just like such a it's such a technicality. But I, you know, I made a mistake. I, I would have driven on the motorway, and that's not allowed at the time. Although it is now, now that I have my license. The day I got my license, next day we were on that motorway. <laughs> Gave the finger to the roundabout <laughs> as I went down to Brighton. Anyways, all right, let's connect up these roads. So we flattened that terrain. And thanks again, by the way, for the super chat, Jay Hartby. 
Thanks for all the super chats. Four all the rest. It's amazing. So thank you. Appreciate it a lot. Really, really, really helps. And it makes me feel very good. <laughs> Right, so. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it's uh, sinking into the terrain so much. Let's get rid of that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. Maybe even this bit. I love this song. Dum, 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 dum. Managed to get a test on the 11th. Working day. You need to wait 10 working day. Yeah, yeah. I was very lucky and passed. Should have passed first, but long said, yeah, I can appreciate that. Now, now I'm going to be way more sympathetic to people who passed first or didn't pass first time. Because when someone goes like, oh, I failed, but it was bullshit. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. But now I'm like, oh, no, it is. It's such bullshit. The fact I feel validated somewhat just because I did was able to pass two weeks later with zero faults. So I'm like, that's redemption for me. Um, but, you know, it would be nice to say I did it first time. Because, yeah, I think the fault, one of the faults I had, one anyway, was due to the roundabout in the first place. Alright, we're looking okay? We're looking fine. Bum, bum, bum. How's the volume, by the way? I didn't actually... Yeah, we're good, right? Hey, Reese! Take off my jacket. It's quite warm. Watching for a minute before work. All the way from Michigan. Sorry, I couldn't see the word all. That little heart that's in the bottom right, you know, for spamming the emotes or whatever, it blocks the very bottom line of chat for me when the window's small. Michigan. Flint, Michigan. How's the water? Thanks, Robert. Uh, hey, chat, where you all from? I'm from India. I'm from Ireland. <laughs> I just bought CS2, started the city, made a huge grid. I made three sides of the grid, made small squares in the grid. But when I did the last side, Aquaman made a see-through black hole in my grid. Lovely. I've had that a few times, yeah. And tunnels can sometimes glitch out as well. We'll have to redo our bus lanes and everything now. All right, so this is going to be our big industrial area. Or it's, you know, it can be for the industrial area. So one of the first things we want to do, we have ore mining set up here. So we'll just connect that up with a small road that goes out to it. And the, I guess for the uh, water pumps as well, maybe. Something like that. Bring this just straight across. Maybe I could do a curve, but just curve it after we get across. I curved the bridge. I guess it's fine to curve the bridge. Oh yeah, and I just realized you can do this. You can actually, whoops. <laughs> uh, you can remove crosswalks. Never really thought about that, but that helps a lot. When I was making that roundabout there, uh, it looked really weird because of all the traffic lights and crosswalks, but once you just remove it, it's like, oh yeah, this looks good now. Oh, like this one, for instance. We can find it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Sydney, Aust oh, nice. Sydney, Australia. Alaska, cool. California, USA. Are you adding trams today? I don't know. I'm taking, I, I'm, I'm going to try and speed up. <laughs> really, my goal is to build more and more suburbs and get more, meet the demand of the low density population. Just try to bring as many people in as possible. I'm going to give them this industrial area up here, can create uh, public transport connections between the two. That's the goals I have, the immediate goals I have right now. I'm just going to move this, but also to make money because we're getting kind of low on it now because of the changes I just made. Oh, you can actually just expand it, can you? An extra pump increases water intake, delivery, and capacity. 7,000 upkeep. 50,000 a month. So a standard one is doing 51,000 for 6,000. So it's better just to put another one down then. Seems. 
Appreciate the membership. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to Tribune, it says. <laughs> Welcome to the Senate. Uh, you know, chat, I just made Darren my teacher one day. I'll make videos like him one day. Nice. Night shift is a rough time for bed. Mm. Is he the only YouTuber? Uh, to say my name right. Enjoy this. Nice. Reese. Rice. Do some people say that or something? Or Rihis? <laughs> Reese is a cool name. I like the name Reese. I believe that the way it is. Can we put a little thing on the end? We have to move it out further if you want to. All right, they're loving it. Florence Street. That's where our water gets handled. Pumping stations right into the land there. <laughs> Maybe we can um, push that back a bit or something. Hopefully that's okay. Something like that, probably fine. And then just maybe just smoothing that last bit out. All right, cool. Okay, so, industry time. This road here that was super busy before, that has a bus lane going through it. What's the terrain like? Does it raise much? No, it's actually pretty flat until we get out there. I need it to be a bit more of a gradual incline, I think. Can't really get rid of the incline because it's the river would flow into this area. I wonder if you could create a lake. Uh, I haven't actually seen the fluid dynamics of this game. It was always interesting in City Skylines 1 how it worked. I'm just trying to, like, flatten the curve, as they say. And it's working, it just takes a long time. Like, you can see the lines expanding out to the right just slightly. It's a hill I feel like I can't really afford to get rid of, but we can definitely smoothen it out. Alright. Yeah, it annoys me. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. My last name is like that a little bit. It's not too difficult, but it's one of those things that people always spell wrong, and I'm like, ugh. But it's a very me thing, because most people probably don't care. Uh, anyway. Uh, don't forget me, please. I mean, I'm your student now. <laughs> okay. Save really quick, and then create a lake. No, I don't want to get too distracted. Be spending a long time doing that, but I, I will probably do that. You could, I'm sure you could carve out a gap and water would flow into it, right? It must do. It'd be really disappointing if it didn't. Um, all right, so. Maybe we could get some of the industrial buildings to follow the curve around. We're using curved mode. I'm just going to go straight for a little bit, and then we'll curve up to it. So their slope isn't too much. Because we want to do forest industry and stuff in there. That kind of separated. Now that's just a standard small road. Feels like it should probably be a main road. Four lane road. Oh yeah. Right side or left side? Uh, kind of weird either way, but whatever.
Okay, so now we need a bit more of a grid or a solid, nice solid zoning for lots of industry and jobs to pop up. So I might do something here where we branch this off and continue on straight. I think I'll use another main road for this one as well, or four lane. Bring that back a bit and just connect that back in. Hey, thanks, Reese. It went to Edward Brown, gifted membership. What is, what is the finally understand reference to? It's that I finally understood how to make a an intersection because I was struggling a lot with it yesterday. But I finally understand that, and I understand a little bit more to do with how commerce works and how close it needs to be to others. I understand things like how we need to level the terrain first. I understand how to get rid of traffic lights and crosswalks and things like that. I think it's just that overall a lot of different systems are, are clicking with me. I don't maybe understand everything yet, but things are starting to click a lot more, I guess, from, from before. So, yeah. I understand the measurement tools a bit better as well. Like that's a 90 degree angle from the first turn, which means it's 90 all the way through if we keep it like this. Let me just chop away that end bit. Alright, so this will be like one of our industrial estates. Lots of gerbs, gerbs. Maybe some pathways as well. Uh, sorry, my name is similar to yours, Darian. Oh, interesting. But people always mispronounce it like yours. It's actually, what caught my eye when I saw the satisfaction? Oh, nice, Darian. Okay, so we have our coal power plant. So the coal that we make is there. I feel like obviously having it somewhere nearby would be ideal. Um, let's just continue this grid kind of situation all the way, see how it fits into things. How's our money? 500,000. this over to the left actually Ew. These guys a way to connect up to the road above. Ooh, actually it's a bad spot for it. So, I think we might be ready to start zoning it, and then we can obviously expand it a bit further if we want to. I might just do one last little road out this side.
Not sure if resource collection is working properly yet. Not sure if that's part of the bug that they're trying to sort. I think all resources that you collect at the moment don't do anything. Oh, that'd be really severe if that's the case. All resources like coal and everything? I feel like we saw it working before. I mean, I don't know necessarily, but when we opened the production tab, I've deleted all industry now, but we had deficits of livestock, vegetables, cotton, oil. Uh, things that These things were being imported into our various different things like uh, commerce or industry or whatever. And then when I started making my own, we started putting down coal and stone and timber and uh, cotton and I did livestock. That was just yesterday. Those numbers did go up. I don't know if I saw them physically moving on the map, but they were working production-wise. Like, they were satisfying demand and lowering the cost of importing. So that was working, but... Let's hit 200 viewers watching. How do we do that? Nobody leave. <laughs> I guess. So I like to think it's working, but yeah, I don't know. I, I can't say for sure, I suppose. I'm just wondering now. This could do with another connection point. So maybe from here, straight across. Big industrial estate anyway, so traffic shouldn't be like too crazy in, inside of it, I don't think. Right, should we leave it like that and see how we get on? So we'll just move this coal power plant. Doesn't have any modules or anything, you just stick it somewhere in there. Close pretty close by where coal gets brought in from. 471,000. We have a firehouse that needs to be nearby as well. Uh, don't really see a reason why it can't be near the actual coal power plant. Do is have a little alley. Uh, let me see that fire again. How big is this? So it actually has an upgrade garage extension. How big is the extension? It just fits into the building. Cool. Right, so this building is one, two, three, four, five times five. Did I just build another one? How's this still here? I thought I just moved it. Oh my god, I must have just built a brand new one, did I? Damn it, such an idiot. I could... Wait, actually, you can refund, can't you? Refund about 90,000. How much did I just build it for? 120, great. Okay, cool. Just burned 30, 30 grand. This will cost 30 to move. Might be nice to have maybe some parking in there. big parking area, and then we have a medical clinic as well. Alright, nice. That should be okay. Um, would be cool if they added nurseries or compost yards so you could increase your land's fertility. Yeah, I wonder will they ever do anything, you know, that's something I think about as well. It's like, the, the resource deposits and how to change them or make your own. Or like have it be randomized or something? I don't know. Just so that every map isn't the same every time you play it. What is this, by the way? What is the dark brown, do you think? Everybody see that? Oh, it's oil. Oh my god. Maybe it was different because it's just because, um... It could be to do with how I shaped the land or something. Doesn't seem to be much other bits of oil. There's some oil out there. That's outside the playable area, though. <laughs> like, that's outside the the border of the map. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Alright, we're almost ready to get going. Putting down fresh industry. These guys have their power. Power is okay. So what's the remaining connections that aren't done? Firewatch tower. Leave that there. Whatever. It's fine for now. What's the problem with it? Oh, no electricity.
Okay, so that's ore connected, so that's coal. We have our water, that's fine. Uh, ah, the power plants. Oh, I totally forgot this. It actually needs its own transformer cables or whatever. The uh, power line's at the back, right? Can you bring that underground? Oh my god, I think you can. Wow, I did not know that. That's pretty cool if you can do that. It can go under or over. Wow, game changer. Didn't know. You can just drag the power underneath. I'm just, I'm a bit confused. Are we connected to that straight up? There we go. It's not connected to the transformer, but that is, so I guess it's fine. Okay. That'll be fine. Just give it a minute. <laughs> just the shock has set in that nobody has any home, um, anywhere to work. Right, so zoning industry then, please. Let's go like this. Get them started with some of that. Gonna start redoing some of the zones we had down here. I think this place needs a bit of an overhaul. And just bear with you one sec. So that's that. Get this. Just dezone that area. I'm gonna dezone this area as well. That's a lot of our commerce going away, but that should be okay. We'll put new commerce in when it makes sense to do so. And then we need a new bus route. All right, time is playing again. What time is it, actually? It's midnight in-game. They're going to be just moving out. There's going to be a big demand for commerce, but we need to put it nearby where people actually want it. That's what we've learned to do. Uh, it might be kind of good to have some nearby up here. So it actually tells you when you hover over commerce, like, where are the customers? Customers right here. So this is like a perfect little area then, right? Have some people move in. What we could do as well then is maybe connect up a pathway that just goes straight through here to there. Don't know about a crosswalk literally on a bend, but I suppose why not? <laughs> Watching this while downloading CS2, nice. Hope it runs okay for you. What don't, uh, wait, what? You don't put the power lines underneath the road where they belong. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't think you could do that with power lines, the ones that are huge. I thought you could only do it with the small ones. So that's just kind of nice. Oh yeah, is, are people using my, my thing? Hey, we got our first, got our first taker here. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, nice. Look at them all. They're all here now. Yes. It's a bit of a steep incline, I'll admit, but it is what it is. So there's really no need for these two lanes, well this one maybe, if you want to double back on yourself, but the middle lane at the moment is only just going to take you out, but in future the middle lane would be used to go that way. So that's why most people should just be moving into the far right one or the far left one. Interesting, these have the same name, but they're not the same street. I wonder can you... um tell the game where a road is specifically because you could do that in the previous game but I don't think you can do that in this one like you draw the road and say this is one thing you could name that hey people are going around now love to see it let's see did he go in the right lane yeah so you're on the inside so you have you are going to be taking a left turn right so let's just follow this guy It's not quite lined up the way it should be. Well, it kind of is. It's almost like... Yeah, don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, because this doesn't have an exit here yet. So that would need to be pushed over. But anyway, it's fine. It works. They might have to give way. In the real world, this roundabout is actually... God damn it. Shame that it just says deleted message. This is, doesn't just remove them. Anyway, in the real world, this uh, actual roundabout is guided by traffic lights, so it could have traffic lights on it. I wonder how that would handle it. It wouldn't sync them all, I guess. 
but it's pretty free free flowing right now, so I'm not complaining. It's a shame they don't use the outside lane to get out. They're using the inside, the middle lane. I've no idea what the, what's happening here because he's he just got onto that lane, came up here, and he's going straight back out. Oh no, he's not. Okay, maybe I take that back. <laughs> Let's just see. So these guys. If you're getting onto this, I imagine you're turning left. If you go straight on, there's something... Okay, good. Good. Yeah, that's fine. The bike will go... Yeah, good. Alright, nice. I was just making sure they weren't like, Oh, I'm going along the highway. I'll just go along this bit. <laughs> because that'd be annoying. Alright. Oh, so I missed some chat there because Lauge Bargason, the absolute Nazi, posted in chat... It's like a million times. Oh, it removed them all for you? Oh, good. For me, it actually completely stays on my screen, but just says um, deleted message. I've never seen a highway roundabout. Oh, like the one down here? If you mean this one, then you should come to England. They all over the place. All right, let's follow this journey and see where this guy's going. So, came from Milford, another town, going to common groceries. On a certain street, bringing in vegetables. Well, that's what we have this area for. We're going to make our own, actually, soon. How many vegetables? 25 tons of vegetables. Goddamn. Hey, those cars are just floating. Maybe because of that big gap that's there. <laughs> yeah, they just go up and then they're like, well... We'll just, uh, it's, uh, we'll just fly, I guess. I'll have to try to smoothen that out. <laughs> job. Well, if we just look at it from up here, it probably looks fine. <laughs> this roundabout will be very busy in future. Probably sever this connection. Just curious to keep following this guy and see how he gets there. These are the new shops that have just opened up, looking good. And he has his little blinker on, so he's going to be turning left and heading into industry. I think he would have taken one of the first turns in, but I guess not. Oh, nice. The industry is thriving. Look at this. So many open jobs and so few workers, yet there's massive demand for more and more industry. So we'll just make more industry. Uh, I live in a... Oh, sorry. I would love to. In boring Ohio. Never seen a highway around... Oh, uh, right. You'd love to. <laughs> Ohio is nice and vast and expansive and well-planned. Roundabouts on highways are a result of being crammed. I live in a part of the US that is just recently adopting roundabouts. It's easy to tell who has never seen one before. So many accidents because people stop suddenly. Yeah, you're never supposed to stop on a roundabout. Um, so the guy was spamming. Put down more gemstone, oil, and farming industry. I get around 3 mil cash injection each month from the surplus. Not on the finance screen, unfortunately. Yeah, that's something that bugs me. It's like, you can see how much you're importing, but you don't actually see how much you make or how much you spend to import or export. It just tells you after the fact, like service upkeep is maintenance and resources. And then service trade, is it service fees? Maybe it doesn't tell you at all. I don't know where it tells you, but I thought it tells you generally all resources collectively, what you make from it, but yeah. Yeah, uh, before we do that, I do want to do, so just check on a few things that we put down. Let's put down, so there's this, 25 employees now, recycling center. I think we should expand that because it is uh, struggling. Maybe we can increase the burn rate, so the hazardous waste. 11 tons per month is what we can get through now. How much, that wasn't actually too expensive. 64,000. Upkeep is kind of high. We'll just leave it at one for now. Um, so yeah, we had other industries that have gotten rid of since. Kind of want to just focus on the Excuse me, farming industries first. Oh yeah, I said that I was going to put a farm there. 
Um, we can still do that. Maybe not on that bit, but on the bit that's on the inside. Good fertile land right there. Vegetables. These guys haven't moved in yet, so it's no problem. It's not like they invested in all that. Yeah, I forgot that we needed a farm in here. We don't need one, but I just thought it'd be nice to have one. Check that fertility again. that goes so this could be industry this could be our farm a little local it's an industrial farm I think of it that way oh, it's such a shame we can't go all the way up to the edge there did I just put down, by the way? <laughs> I didn't even check it. Vegetables. And the other one's grain, I think. Grain. Yeah. Vegetables. Good. Alright, better. Quiet chat. Uh, 200 watching. Let's go uh, get to at least 100 likes. I appreciate that. Smash the like button. Lick the like button. Aced it. Hey, Bond. <laughs> Have you ever made a town where you live? No. I live, um... So I grew up in a tiny, tiny, tiny village with one street and, like, ten households on it. Like, literally in the middle of nowhere. I show people where I grew up, actually, just really quickly. It's kind of interesting when we let things happen in the background. Which is interesting how small it is, although these days it's a little bit bigger. Not like such an old man, but it's true, they built a couple of housing estates, so it's not really quite as small anymore. So I'm from Ireland. I used to live in a place called the Nall, Nall Village, where I grew up for the first 18 years of my life. And the Nall Village is basically, if we do satellite mode... Yeah, so all of this, this whole housing estate here at the back, that didn't used to be there. And I lived... in this house here. Now, someone who won the lottery bought that house and has since built big fountains and an ornate garden at the back of it, which is kind of funny. But that was my house and it basically looked like that. We had um, four big kind of Greek pillars and the guy who bought it, paint it was a white house, painted it blue and then put stone, like stone square pillars on them. They were more round Greek style kind of pillars. Um, but yeah, this is where I grew up, man. This this street. So these are the houses that were there all that time. And I went to school at the very end of this road, all the way up on top of this hill. So it's literally... These houses didn't exist either. These are all new. So this is just fields. Fields, fields, fields. And at the back of my house was just fields as far as you could see. This is the only estate that it was there when I was growing up. That one. So we're talking pretty small. And then at the top of this hill, I used to walk to school. Primary school or elementary school if you're American. There she is, that's my school. So, 
that building didn't exist. And this is a temporary prefab because there's too many people, I think, at the moment. This is non national school. So basically, just that building. And my class had seven people in it, including myself. So for, you know, my first 10 years of my life. I went to school with seven people in a in a total building of about 50. Um, but yeah, so I've never built anything in city skylines based on where I lived because it's so basic. <laughs> yeah. Could do where I went to college though, that's a bit more interesting I guess. Alright, so how are we doing? Population is actually just hit 10,000. Wow, it's still going up. I would have thought it would be collapsing because of the big changes we made. Large class. Yeah, seven. Huge. Huge. Bro, that's ten minutes from my home. Then all? Did you know, Darren, that if you have more small farms than one big one, you'll get more resources? Ah, it's fine. I don't worry about that kind of thing. But it's interesting to know. Interesting to know. I wonder if that to do with the efficiency rating or the level that it reaches in total. Hey, Kevin. Those temporary school buildings are never temporary. <laughs> yeah, the prefabs. Yeah, there used to be a temporary one on the side, but it did eventually get changed. It did take, like, five years, though. Long-term temporary. Uh, okay, so that's vegetables and grain. We'll get one more. What was the other one? Livestock, maybe? Or cotton? Depends what our industries are kind of importing, I guess. Cotton, 6.3 tons, and livestock, 7.7. .7. You think livestock would be used in a few places. So we've got space here for a farm and space on the other side for one, too. It's not going to be the nicest looking thing, but... It should work. So I think we'll bring a road in from this side. Wish I could keep that infographic on while I'm... Oh, I can. Nice. Okay, good. Drawing the roads. Alright, let's try this. So... Specialization... Cotton, I guess. I guess it, visually you don't see any change anyway. Starting from the right side. Oh my god. Oh, I'm outside the circle. I didn't even notice. Totally fine. It is what it is. City Skylines too. <laughs> it's our cotton farm, and then we'll need one just for... So the one for livestock can actually be placed anywhere. I was going to put it on the inside here, but I guess it doesn't need to be. It can just be placed wherever. Four, three, two, one. Still need five likes till we get to 100. When start making a series, you should... I missed that. You de retracted your message, so I missed it. I was number 100. Thank you, Arctic. Hey, appreciate the likes. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it does help the videos, I think. Especially when they stay as videos after the fact, so it's really helpful. And I appreciate, like I said earlier, the super chats and the gifted membership and the regular membership that we got as well. So, super, super helpful. I hope they redo the farm building placement. They need to, don't they? Because it's so weird. Just, oh, like, I'll just throw a random building down in the middle of nowhere. This one doesn't look so bad, actually, because it's a greenhouse, but you can get really weird ones that just pop up. And it's like, oh, there's a path here, but nothing connects so it's you could just it's like almost every aspect of the game they just run out of time it's like you're almost there you're like 80 percent on every feature <laughs> nice detail on the tractor though shout out got the sprayer thing on the back and everything people reviewing this game always mention starfield saying the game was had a bad launch like it you used to play Starfield. What's wrong with it? Starfield's a complicated one. People had really high expectations for the game, and I think it just doesn't quite live up to it. But there's nothing, I, in my opinion, really wrong with it. It's just not what people really needed it, wanted it to be. 
People wanted a 10, and it's more like an 8. Um, if you come from Skyrim, and you feel like Skyrim's like this 10 out of 10 masterpiece kind of game, generation-defining game, and then you know that like the next big one from Bethesda's coming out, the new IP from Bethesda, that's taken many, many years. There's just a big expectation, I guess. But for a lot of people, it just didn't meet it. So, as far as I know, that's the best way I would summarize it, but yeah. Why can't I build the road? Invalid shape. Oh, I'm blocking the path. Oh, yeah. Put that path in again. It's just, I noticed that there's a gap of zoning here that I'd like to fill. I'm on a 3090 and don't want this. <laughs> I'm on a 3090 too. I'm enjoying Starfield well enough. I'm enjoying Starfield a lot. Yeah, I really liked it. I just stopped playing it because I was doing it on YouTube and then it just didn't really view that well, so I just kind of stopped. But I'm going to go back to it probably when it gets a couple of updates and uh, mods are stable for it. Because it's just a few quality of life things I'd like to add to it before I really do a full run. But I loved what I played. I really liked it. Although when you see a game like Star Citizen, it really puts it in perspective like how good that game looks compared to Starfield. But in fairness to that, it had like an unlimited budget basically and like 10 years to be developed, even longer. So it's kind of unfair expectation really. Can't put that on everybody, even for a big company like Bethesda, I think. But um, yeah, it certainly feels a little dated. Can't deny that. Uh, okay, Livestock's the last one I'm going to go with. I'm just not really sure where to put it. Maybe just down here somewhere. Gives them highway access and a quick way into the town as well. Livestock farming. I wonder uh, if the road ended, can you build all the way around the circle then? Probably, right? Not that it really matters. Anyway, 8.6 tons per month. Is it more if I put this in here? No, it still says 8 points. Oh, that's the deficit we have right now. I see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Just pop it somewhere there. That let them come out this way? I think so. Starting on the right side, just go down and around like this. Population increased. just keep snapping. Stop snapping. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Random building. Alright. That's livestock. We now have livestock, grain, vegetables, and cotton. Employing a bunch of people. We've actually got a demand for offices again. Our office spaces are there. And probably again around the back here. So where's an ideal place for these? Just as anywhere. Office zones has companies that produce immaterial goods and services. The low density office zone allows for single story or low rise buildings for small businesses. Yeah, same thing then. 
Wait, there, there, and there. What was that? Oh, it's just okay. Yeah. Long Island. I forgot about that. So good. How many people are in school? 250 for the high school. 720 for the primary school. All right, great. I'll just catch chat again. Also, I didn't watch your. Let me just scroll up in case I missed anything else first. I'm enjoying Starfield a lot. I love the game. It exceeded your expectations. That's nice to hear. Go flow. At least they delayed. It, it met mine. I just had mine firmly set mid to high, but not like super high. So it was totally fine by me. Um, uh, didn't watch your video on it as it could only start playing a few days ago and didn't want to spoil the story. Yeah, that's understandable. Not sure if that's how others felt. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's to be the. Plus, I was also a couple days late. I feel like if I was like day one with other creators, it might have done a little bit better. But, I mean, it's also a totally different audience type game as well, so it's fine. I dropped Starfield until the first DLC and creation kit as well. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Imagine spraying your field with 25 high-rises. Getting all that yummy manure smell. Nah, it's fine. What's the new release date for Matterloids? April 24th, I believe? Uh, the latest Star Citizen footage was breathtaking, especially the server meshing tech and scale of everything. Also, who thought that Starfield was going, was going to be Star Citizen anyway? Yeah, exactly, right? Th the thing is, they showed it the game beforehand, and I felt like everything they showed... It's the same with this game. People are like, oh, they're a little disappointed in it. I get that. I totally get it. But I also think it's like, well, they showed it beforehand, you know? They showed it on live streams, content creators had it. You could see it being played. So what's the shock, you know? I don't know. But whatever. <laughs> it's weird to me to then buy it and then go, oh. Just don't buy it then. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but that's how you send your message, right? Buying it and then complaining, it doesn't really send the message as much. Anyway, is it just me or do the maps feel empty? Um, I don't know. The maps themselves? More so than before? I don't like the way you do see the edges of the map. And like the tile border is here, so I'm surprised they don't just like fog the crap out of the edges like they did in the first game. But I don't feel like it's empty. I see planes flying by and ships going by, so. Hi from the UK, just stumbled across your channel 20 minutes ago. Hello, Sports Boffin. I'm also in the UK. I started watching your videos recently. Favorite was Anno. Thanks, Jura. I think it's odd that the livestock farms have the same field of wheat texture. I don't think any of them even look like wheat. It's just dirt, isn't it? I've said it before, and I don't mean to go on about it, but we need to just all accept that the game is clearly not done, right? It's. Like, I think 80% of the way is probably fair. It's missing things. Every fee every aspect of the game, it's like, yeah, you're almost there. But you're not just not quite all the way. It's like 80% done. It should have come out, like, in six months, I think. But that ain't happening now. All right, so we need more commerce and industry. So let's just keep going with more industry first. I'm hoping this doesn't create too much noise pollution down here. I think it'll be okay. One feature I'd like to see, though, for sure, is that feature that they added to CS1 just at the end of its life, which was you could remove the zoning from a certain road. I'd like to remove this road's zoning so we get full blocks on this one. You know what I mean? I think you can do that if you delete a road and build it second. Let's just try that. So if I just delete this. Now we've got nice big zone block. Let's try and put that down again. Medium road, standard little curve in the center. Going forward to maybe about there, and then linking it to its fellow. Nah. Kind of looks like better than it was, but basically not a way to do it. Because people had said, I think it's actually based on the si road size it takes priority. The bigger roads take the priority, not the order of which they're placed. Uh, not a big deal, we can just put it down anyway. But I need to start figuring out um, transport routes again. So we have all this high density. We have our two suburbs, Shlong Island and Shady Acres. And they need bus routes. I deleted all the routes that we made yesterday. So routes that can take them to the city. I, need to, I want to delete the bus stops and put down fresh ones. Oh yeah, and mail. I can't remember where our mailbox is. Or um, post office, I mean. I think it's somewhere over there. So, public transport. Bonk. We've got no bus lines, no trains, no trams or anything like that yet. 
getting pretty close to the next milestone as well. Still big demand for commerce, so I'd like to sort that out. So who wants commerce? Lots of customers on this side. There's car parks on this side as well. This seems like a good spot for it. Across a main road. Yeah, it seems fine to me. Let's, um... Oh, that's the sewage outlets. Also gonna say that we could maybe perhaps bring the road in. some shops in there. Looks a bit weird, but it's fine. <laughs> Good customer reach out this way. What do you zone the first? Zone first, then build the road? Try it again in future. I don't think so, though. I think I did try that before when I was doing um, stuff down here. I was watching a video about it as well. I don't think they had a solution. I think they said something about the order in which you place the roads, but I think it's actually the... They were talking about the same type of road, though. I think it's if you... I think it... No, I'm pretty sure, actually, because we even did small things where we adjusted a road, and then it broke the zoning all around it and everything. It doesn't seem to care. And the houses were already built. Uh, CS's maps not feel alive as Anno 1800. I feel like lighting is a big factor. Do you mean... It, when you say map, though... Do you mean, like, the time... Well, I'm just at standard time of day. If I go back to... Day-night cycle. The day-night cycle is off right now. Maybe that adds more character, just a little bit. I feel like what we're missing is fog. <laughs> There's like a little bit, but you'd almost want to do something like this. Let's go... Something a bit more like that. Can't change that. go full Blade Runner. <laughs> full smog. I don't know. I'm sure you could do things that, yeah, I think uh, lighting basically is the answer, uh, is, I think does play a big role, but also I think there's something up with the distance shouldn't be that visible. The mountain range, I mean. I mean, even on a clear day, I feel like it should be blending the top a little bit more with like fog. And stuff. But anyway, yeah. I could agree with that. Yeah, we get all that flickering when we let the day-night cycle go by, which is why I don't normally do it. So here the shadows actually look fine, but when you zoom out and we angle our camera, now they become all jagged and weird. The game doesn't want you to angle your camera. You need to keep it about here. You do that, and it thinks you're looking off in the distance, and it starts unloading things in the foreground. You bring it down, things, well, it depends on the angle, but things generally sharpen up and look a lot better. So they're almost there. <laughs> you know, they just need to tweak some of these things. A lot of people walking, that's good. Darn, mod me real quick so I can delete that guy. Delete that guy? What guy? Uh, I can mod you anyway, though, yeah? There you go, you're a moderator. I don't think I saw what you saw. I wonder, did I remove the guy from just my vision and not everyone's? Anyway. Uh, yeah, we need to do water treatment. I'll do that in a moment. We're really low on money, though. 300,000 is quite low. I need to just um, meet some demands, and then we can kind of sort that out. Keep speeding up time. So we're getting more commercial zones here. That's the school. And buses. So let's give these guys a route so they can actually get around. So give them the regular stop signs. Go with North American version, I guess. Got a cool looking um 
Oh, I wish I wanted to keep that map view or whatever. It looks really cool. So the ones in Shlong Island are still there. That's all fine. That's our bus depot. All right, so let's um, we're gonna make a little standard loop. That's the school, actually, so that's kind of a good spot to be, up there. Right, so this is a very small loop, but this is the local Victoria Glade loop. So if we have a look at public transport overview, we can check our lines, and we can adjust how many vehicles. So there's two out of four vehicles assigned on it. The maximum number of vehicles depends on the line's length. Really assigned vehicles. Yeah, two is fine by me, because it's a short route. Just a little local route, and then we'll make another local route on the other side for Highland Gardens, and then we'll make a district route that goes between there and the industry. Yep, that's fine. Make a super small loop. Okay, so that'll be the next one. That's going to be... So we'll call the first one... Where you glade. This one... Island Gardens, that's fine. I know these are really small. I'm just kind of also doing a little trial and error. So, we've already got stops there, so we don't need to add new ones, but those stops are then going to bring you up into the industry, so put one there. Alright, let's try something like that. Needs to be moved up there. I'm not sure where the turn's actually going to be uh, of this one. So if we were to start a route like this to here and around. No, don't want to do that. We can tell it to keep going at a waypoint here. Oh, it's because it's on the wrong side. That's my bad. Did it delete that route? Yeah. Alright, starting again. So it would do a 180 right there. That's funny. I wonder could I tell to just put a waypoint in the car park? How about that, huh? <laughs> That's a not a bad idea. <laughs> just turn there. Although it's usually a very busy spot. Uh, I guess you could come down further and just loop back around. That would be probably all right. I'll have to do this again. Maybe one... Just This is actually a park here, so it's actually a good spot right there for the turn. Ah, it deletes it every time. All right, so again... Okay, so this is the, I guess, dense residential to industry route. Uh, can you put a crosswalk between those first two bus stops so they can get to... Yes, yep, we can do that. I'm going to get very granular with this now and also put down some bus lanes specifically to get them to the industry area safe uh, properly. Um, you can do Hollywood Mexico Sepia. <laughs> oh yeah, Sepia theme. <laughs> you can make a poop river. Oh. Just loop to complete the balls. <laughs> Long Island. Uh, that one's done now, so we open this up again. I'm gonna change the music also. All right. 
transport. So because this goes to industry, this one, we'll color this to be yellow. Yellow-ish. And we'll say it's... We'll just call it... Island in Victoria to industry. That's fine. Check that out. We have five vehicles doing that. It's quite a long route. Probably need it anyway. I guess actually you could also go on the outer, the outside maybe. But it's okay. Okay. So the only two other ones then would be Schlong Island and Shady Acres need to get into maybe the this Willow Downs area where you glade. Or districts. This area actually doesn't have a district. The offices, is it? Yeah. Yeah, interesting. I don't know why it says it's overlapping. It should the lines should be allowed to touch each other. But it doesn't want to do that for some reason, so we'll just leave it there. Alright, cool. And then this is supposed to have its own area, but I don't know how I can do that. Can we turn off snapping maybe? Hopefully that still works. Because that's um, offices, pretty much. Offices and parking. And that's called Shepherd Ridge. Alright. That's a lot of shit in the water. Yeah, that's fine. Long Island. A little dirt at the back of it. <laughs> uh, fitting, if anything. Alright, so what's next? Let's just get the bus routes then. Two more bus routes for Schlong Island and Shady Acres, just to come up. So the stops are already down. We don't need to do much there. We do need to find... It. Oh yeah, we actually had them looping into each other, didn't we? Yeah. And probably a bus stop there. I guess what you could actually do, I never really thought about it, but so you can put down a waypoint and then just put a bus stop on that line instead of having to redo the line like I was doing. So I'll just put a waypoint there. So that's how they get to the school and then they can get to this. Nope, don't do that. The waypoint there. I want them to get onto this route because that's be where the bus lanes will be. Come down and meet onto this one. All right. It's a bit of a messy. Oh, you can change the color here. That's quite nice. But the one I just did, or I was too late. I didn't change it retroactively. Um, so yeah, bus stop. Where the car park is, and these are shops. So I guess just somewhere before the junction is good. And the same with you, before the junction. All right, and then this line. There you go. The to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city cool. That's really nice how easily you can do that. I really like that feature. Toilet, cut back on watering the lawn and shower with a friend whenever possible. Shower with a friend whenever possible. So these need to be green because these are like residential zones. So we can just go with something like that. The city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. The the Don't know if you can make things the same color. Is there a way to copy and paste that? No? Don't think so. They look pretty similar. And then this one takes you next residential zones together. It's also just another crossover point. So again, I guess it could just be green. Maybe a brighter green because it connects multiple. Alright, 
All right, so we should get some buses rolling out now. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, they are the first ones are coming out now. Until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding. All right, okay, I'm off 4 a.m. here. Oh, see you later, J Hartby, and thanks um for the support before. Have a good one. Thank you. No wonder the beaches are empty. Even fishes wouldn't swim there. Fishes can't survive there. Oh, Spartan, too much. That's a lot of shit in the water, yeah. Bro, you have the water treatment plants. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I don't have the money, though. What do you want me to do? We don't have one place down, do we? That's what you meant. 480,000. I can take a loan for it. We'll be good to get one. Are you able at the moment to build railways? I am, yeah. I've actually severed the railway right now, right now, but the plan is to have some sort of railway when we expand the map just a bit further on this side. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was thinking of bringing it in there. This needs to be forest industry. I was waiting to see if these are going to grow back. They still say zero wood. I feel like I just have to remove it. There was a forest fire. And it has left these just dormant. From what I can Oh no, it is growing back. 81. It just must take a really long time. That burned a little bit before my one, so maybe mine will come back. Oh yeah, 12. It's happening. Very slowly, but it's happening. That's good then. Yeah, so we can set up logging industry here again. Everything's Victoria Street in this game. Anyway, hello Germany, US, <laughs> Brazil. It takes one and a half in-game years. One and a half in-game years. So let's start flying a bit faster. I don't even think one year has gone by. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't I add trees somewhere in this state? I did, yeah, these are the ones I placed. How are they doing? See, they've grown pretty quickly and they I placed them after the forest burned down. So the forest... That burned is taking much longer to come back. Wow, look at all the people down here. Loads. A lot of our negative icons are going away. That's good news, right? Still losing money, though. That's not good news. 8,000. Wow, that's pretty bad, actually. I did ease the taxes quite significantly. Let's bump that up a bit. How's the happiness? Negative seven for crime. High crime. We had that before. I don't really understand why that would be the case. Jail availability. Prison availability. Average crime probability. 34%. Average likelihood of a building becoming a target for criminal activity. And then the... I guess police coverage could be better. Crime probability is high in a few of these. What is it? Low income. Average wealth. Modest. Eh, that's fine. Poor, maybe. Not to stereotype, but... Where is it? Our police station is over there, one of them. I guess we could have another local police station somewhere down here. What do you have now? 158,000. We've never taken a loan, though, so we could always take one to bail ourselves out. Um, still good demand for offices. I'm surprised with that because education isn't really that high. We don't have a college yet. Oh, we do! I'm such an idiot. I forgot. We added one at the end of the stream just to see it. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot that. It's in a random place as well. Wow. Okay, so our education is getting better. That's college, not university, so it's an in-between step. Ah, so that's why we've got demand for offices now, finally. That yeah, makes a lot of sense. All right, cool. Um, so, customers. Let's put offices where there aren't really demand for customers. A few offices even here. Would that be too strange? Seems to be fine. A couple little businesses. It's just local small businesses, isn't it? Um, accountants and the like, insurance companies. Foggy Street seems like an appropriate place for crime. 
Oh, I can't remember where that is now. I did see it before, though. Foggy Street. Oh, cozy Street. <laughs> oh, I can't remember where it was. I did see it before, though. But yeah. How's power and everything? Let's go over things. So, electricity availability is low. We're importing some. Our coal power plant isn't enough just on its own. It does 20 megawatts, and I think our consumption is 30. Oh, just 22, I guess. Electricity trade. Yeah, we're importing 8.49 at the moment. Water. We have good water. We're not actually selling it because I don't have the tiles unlocked for the edge of the map, so I can't. Healthcare. Healthcare looks decent, although they're pretty far from... Shady Acres is out of range. Recycling. Our recycling thing is there. Everyone seems pretty good. We've expanded the capacity of that. It is getting through it actually a bit better. It used to be at 60 out of 50. Now it's at 52 out of 50. So that's good. Well, it's kind of good. It's still full. So hopefully it does go be below that. We're at 10,000 people. Okay. See what else is going on. So that's healthcare, garbage, fire. Yeah, it could be better down the south. We have a fire station up here, do we? Oh, it's the helicopter, helicopter depot. Yeah. Disaster control. Don't worry about that. Police. Lots of cop cars rolling around now, though. I think we've got in total just two police stations. Oh, okay. I thought I had one up by the industry. Not anymore. Administration buildings. Don't have any yet. Education. So we have our high school, college, and elementary school. Buses are rolling around now. We can check on that, but it says 3,000 citizens per month. That seems really good. To me, anyway. Based on the fact that we've only got 10,000 people. Although it is per month. Mail. We have a postal service here. Post office. And there's some mailboxes that they go around. They kind of automatically go where they need to, right? But they go to... Oh, there's Foggy Street. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You said it. Yeah. Foggy Street. So, yeah. Mail has been taken care of really nicely. Although it's high accumulation in this place, I guess. Oh, no. It just says the building color. What else we got? Pleasure. They could do with more parks and things, I suppose, up further up. We have this really nice big park here. And then there's a few smaller ones. Why are these green? Leisure activities. So are some of the businesses just happen to be... Oh yeah, they sell recreation. That's kind of interesting. So commerce can satisfy a demand for entertainment and leisure. But it's random, obviously, which ones pop up where. I wonder, do they pop up where there is, like, um, less, like, there's no parks around here. So it's like, oh, this is a good niche place. Now, a mortuary. A room or building in which dead bodies are kept. How the hell is that s recreation? What's going on? <laughs> Oh yeah, I often like to just go and, you know, touch, play with the bodies. <laughs> What's the, what is this cargo? I need to know. <laughs> Get off the bus lane. How is traffic actually? We'll have to go through a full day night. I guess it's, it's midday, so traffic's not going to be that busy. We have people waiting for the bus though. One out of third, one out of eighty on this bus right now. That doesn't seem. Also, why is it not moving? Was it not able to stop or something? Because its blinker was on, but it didn't. Unless these people just didn't want to get on that particular one. That could be the case. Let's just wait for the next one to come around. It's coming down now. This stop here. Passengers waiting. Forty-one. That's looks like it's this one. Uh, see you later, I guess. I'm so confused. Why did that just go past its... Oh, they must be waiting for a different one. The 
didn't name that one. Um, and yeah, I know you said to add a crossing point. That would be fun. I just want to see that they actually get this damn bus. Almost at Boomtown. We're getting pretty close. These guys all got on 20 out of 80. There we go. Six. Four people got on that bus. What the hell? What are you... Which bus are you waiting for? So this line is the high rises and Victoria to industry. So this will take people to industry. Although you could be on that side of the road if you wanted to get way quicker. So that's why I'm just curious. Where are you going? And that just drives past them. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh yeah, we never put a stop in for them. There's only a stop for these people if they are on the green lines. Huh. There. It's a stop for you as well now. I don't think that's going to fix anything, but I'm just curious. Like, they must be waiting for one of the green buses to come around. There's three. It's probably not the best idea having three that are colored green because I can't tell them apart now. So it's either the suburbs to the high road. They could be going to the suburbs, or it's just the local route that takes you around the district. This is Highland Gardens. Takes you around the district in a loop. Seven people. It's got to be the bright green one. Oh, it's full. Maybe that's why I drove fast last time. No, it wouldn't do that. It would let people out. So that tells me that they need more on this, right? On this particular route. Suburbs to high rises. Good to see that's busy. Eight vehicles assigned already, though. Ah, oh, they're getting through them. Maybe it's fine. At least we understand that a bit better. So let's see, can we do a sort of crosswalk here just so that people can get across easily? Uh, yeah, I don't know how to do that, actually. You can, like, this is choosing whether a crosswalk goes here or not. I don't think I can actually put one down on the route. I suppose you wouldn't want to do that, actually, thinking about it. Like, let people cross wherever they want to. There's close enough crossings that I'm sure they go onto the side they need to, you know? Anyway, sorry. Covering eight regions is more than 2,500 assets. We present the free region packs. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Because I talked about it yesterday. And then they just posted it on YouTube today. So I don't know where I saw it. But I'm pretty sure it was in their live stream or something. So now it's on Steam. Now it's on their YouTube channel. And yeah, you can see that there's tons of assets. And they're all going to be given out for free. I don't think it... Does it have a release date or a time frame? Is it possible to make a bus stop lane in the very middle lane? So that people have to cross to get to the middle lane and avoid traffic. You're asking me if I can put the bus lane in the middle so people have to cross traffic to get it. I don't know why you'd want people to do that, but you I'm pretty sure you can put the bus lane anywhere you want. You just check it. But on that, no, maybe it's just the side. Let's try a road that hasn't had that happen to it yet. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, it's just either side. This is just a two lane road, or three lane road. We have a bus lane that leads you, takes you out to the industry. Coming back, we don't. Um,. Use the, oh yeah, the pedestrian path can do it. Oh yeah. I just feel like that'd be weird to have a crossing point where there's two bus stops. But there is actually a path right here. Anyway. So you have to, um, if you want to do that though, you have to actually... Wait, that's not a path. There's a gap here though. You have to do something. Let me get rid of the grid. There we go. There. That would add a crossing. But that's broken the zoning on that house. Yeah, it's shifting the zoning over. I don't know why. It just is. And when it does that, then it's created a new grid here. Gonna knock these two down. I'll just leave it. 
Because I also think, like, well, there's crossings here and here. Like, do they need it specifically on the stop? I don't think so. At least we don't have any traffic right now. That's pretty good. We don't have buses that takes people to the commercial area or the college or anything yet. Uh, so maybe we should do that. <clears throat> Can we make a bus go through the pedestrian street? You'd assume so, right? Buses should be allowed to do that. If we want. Anyway, sorry. In the new cities, there is a third bus stop lane so that cars behind don't have to stop. In new cities, there is a... Th in the middle lane. Hmm. I've never seen that before. I've seen trams that use the mid... Like, that they'll use the middle lane. And they'll have a stop in the middle of the road. So people do have to cross to get into the stop. I've never seen that for buses, though. But I believe you. They create a mod... Uh, sorry, a median bus stop. Like with trams. That's what I was saying. I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. But... Uh, well, I don't know. Is the answer. Like, maybe if I unlock something. But not... That I know of, or maybe it's a type of road that can do it. Because I can only put bus stops on the sides, the shelters only go on the sides. If I choose, so I built a road with a, a median in it uh, somewhere. Where did I do that? This one. So it has a divide in it. So let's see. No, it seems to just go on the sides. Bus lane on the sides. Yeah, don't think so. There's so much commercial demand. Yeah, it's loads. The problem is, a lot of our commerce is actually even saying, like, not enough customers. They, we need to place it more closely around where there are people looking to buy things. And this is our map of that. So again, I guess, uh, here. Green terrain color is where our customers are. I don't really want to go at the back of the school. Front of the school, maybe. Little corner shops and stuff, perhaps. I create a lot of noise though, that's the only thing. That's why I had a dedicated area for commerce. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't close enough to customers. Crematorium could maybe, I don't really have that much money, but maybe move that somewhere because this seems like a better area for customers and things. These are our little offices that have opened up now. Snafu Insurance, Banhammer Bank. <laughs> Mouthwater Press. Man, Snafu is taking over. What next? Um, we could do a bit of a reset now. I feel like things are looking good. So com commercial demand is down. It's interesting. Like, the demand bar will go all the way up. You put one down. It's like, yep, that's good. <laughs> uh, we're starting to get some residential demand again. So I was going to just, like, spam out another suburbs kind of area down here. And let lots more people move in. Buses in South Korea drive in the inner lanes? Interesting. Not a full dedicated lane, but like a junction. You'll have to... Can you tell me um where this is? And I can just look it up on maps, and we can put it on screen so people see. Buy commercial close to high-density housing. That's what we've done, yeah. Or we're starting to do that. I feel like I could probably even delete some high-density housing in certain places and just put in a bit. Uh, well, those parks and stuff there... Yeah, it's tough to know where... I guess there's a gap even there. <laughs> I have a bunch of commerce in the center. That'd be weird. Let's see how it handles noise, because that was my big fear. For coming from CS1, it's like... Each, I'm, I've been told not to do that, but... Noise seems basically fine. Man, look at the infographic here. How good looking does that look? <laughs> Pretty good. But the sh keeping the shadows on is a really nice touch. The no noise pollution sources. Let's just do noise pollution overall. So here's... From blue to red. I'm not seeing any red. We're seeing a little bit of yellow in these areas here. Just a little bit. So it's kind of noisy around the elementary school, noisy around this area. But it's not noisy at all around these apartments. They're totally fine being one street over from jobs, it seems. So here's the noise pollution sources, right? They're they're all next to it. Not causing them any issues. What's that problem? No car access. Now we had this before. Maybe I can make it a little alley. I don't know why it says no car access. I don't know if they need it around the back. There's like this type of building has some sort of garage road thing going on. 
It's not my fault. You're the one that chose to build a building like that here. I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> Let's see if a different one pops up and makes it okay. Probably it's going to be the same one, isn't it? Tell you what. What we could do is to prevent a building that big popping in. That's better. And these are the hybrid houses, right? This is the mixed zoning. Residents here with three family members. They're living up in one of these apartment blocks. The Smithy fam the Smith family. Happy. People are really happy now that we sorted out a few of those problems. High crime has gone from six to negative two. Taxes is negative one. Unreliable healthcare negative one. Pretty good overall. That infographic is gorgeous, yeah, yeah. People are complaining about electricity, are they? Oh yeah, sorry, I haven't been reading the chirper thing. I just love this weather, not too hot, not too cold. Our education system is amazing. So many open jobs, so few workers. If this trend of unemployment continues, it'll be a ghost town. Hmm, interesting thing. Quite different opinions there, although kind of related. I'm in love with all the leisure time opportunities the city provides. Do you want to invest? They're experts over at whatever will help you out. Snafu Insurance. We should pick a few citizens to follow and check in on them from time to time. Some of my buildings went abandoned. Oh, the building collapsed, did it? Oh yeah, you know what? We should make our own stone. We used to do that, but I got rid of it when we built uh, coal. We should make stone again. Because I think we have to import stone. And that's why some buildings are starting to fall to disrepair. Um, up here is probably a decent area. You can build it anywhere, as far as I know. So, Oh yeah, and I forgot to put down lumber. Okay, let's do both of that now. The so specialized industry will put down timber, forestry. And we start on the inside. We can actually go all the way around the entire building. That's really interesting. <laughs> Alright, so that entire, almost the full circle is, is using forestry now. Uh, type in Sin, Sinbundang Line, Gangnam Station. Alright, we'll do that in a sec. There we go. Yeah, let's check this out. Hmm. Uh, there we go. Layers. Oh my god, it's messy. It's kind of hard to see as well. This doesn't seem like something that's working very well. <laughs> it seems really crowded. Gangnam Square. So this is the bus lane in the center. Or the buses are using the center, are they? Yeah, buses are on the inner lane. Well, to turn left, I guess. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think we can do that. I don't think... Well, you can... The buses might just do that themselves. But I can't make a lane dedicated for it. If that's right. I was just finishing watching part two. The city's improved dramatically from then. Good stuff. Thanks. Yeah, now it's really... I'm starting to... It's, the game is starting to click with me. That's why I called it starting to understand... Ah, uh, beautiful. Where are we? 
<laughs> I've no idea even where this is. It's South Korea or something. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, there's some amazing... I think there's a video that... So I've got an Apple TV, and uh, I'm pretty sure the Apple TV just, like, goes through... There's, like, a flyover that happens, like, as, as a screensaver that goes along some motorway like this. And I think it's in Korea. That looks amazing. It just slowly flies over it for, like, quite a while. And there's just all these cool, complicated, like, interchanges, I guess. A lot of cars, though. Yeah, I get, actually, what would be better to do is turn off this and just turn back on just regular. Yeah, there we go, just to see it. And it's this uh, video that just scrolls down it like this. You can just see, like, there's, like, six lanes, and traffic is just, like, slowly moving along. Has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise wow. caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. That's crazy. It, this has been or it's normal, but it's just crazy that there's, like, a whole other world <laughs> over there. Industry. I feel like uh, most of the things I know, it's just such a Western focus, just generally. And it's like, man, you just forget that this is like Asia's massive <laughs> and bigger than everything else, pretty much. Korea, China, Japan. Anyways, yeah, interesting. Oh, sorry, type in the Gangnam bus stop. Just quickly do that then. Bus stop congestion, bus stop in median, median aligned bus lanes. Yeah, they're traveling down the center. The one thing I can kind of think of that's similar is actually pretty close to where I live. Um, see where this is, if I can remember. Yeah, I remember, it's here. This thing, this is a bus lane. So, at this point, for some reason, just like randomly here. Well, let's just get down the ground. We can see it. So you've got a, a regular median there dividing the road. And then just here, bus stop. And then the bus usually cuts across and goes into this little thing. And that's a bus only route. And it drives straight down the middle of the road. It's a one lane system. Only one bus can fit there. It doesn't even look like a bus can, but it does. It just rolls along basically like it's on like a train. And it cuts straight through uh, this roundabout. So it has its own lights. And it'll just go straight through the center. And uh, not have to go around this like kind of more complicated roundabout. So it just comes straight out there. And it continues along. Yeah, so that's basically... It just continues to come straight out. And just goes and suddenly it's just part of the road again. But it's guided by its own traffic lights to be able to do that. I know it's not quite the same. But that's just the only example I can think of. I've seen where a bus travels in the middle. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I don't think we can do that here. Wow, look at how many lanes there are, man. Seven lanes. If you include the bus. God damn. Wow. Alright, let's continue. I really just want to fill out this place. I'm just so slow at doing it, but I'm trying to just like meet the demands that we have. So industry, commerce, industry, commerce. It's a constant thing with these guys. So let's try... Again, there's customers here, so maybe in the future we can move this to the further out, but if there's customers here and they don't mind, we'll just put in a couple of shops there. That'll meet our commerce demand. Let's do more industry then, further in this way. Get people jobs, get people moving in. Get rid of that one. Should pop in better. Yeah, there we go. I do that here as well. Better. We need to expand this place yet. So we've given them their little playground, an extension wing. That just makes the school bigger without changing things too much. 60 XP. That put me over the edge. Pretty close. We're 500 away. And a children's clinic in 
not fit in at the back. It would fit in at the side. It's a shame you can't turn it sideways. Have to move that car park and fit it in there somewhere. If you did want one. Don't have to give them it, I guess. Maybe we could do a little pathway. Fill out the back of that area. Area. So, if I'm not mistaken, these guys have a few policies, right? Yeah. Roadside parking fee and speed bumps. And their parking fee is quite substantial. That's to reduce them parking on the side of the road, but still people, people still do. But we make money from it, so whatever. Uh, then Shepherd Ridge, they don't have any policies just yet. Highland Gardens, what's going on here? Crime scene. Crime's being committed here and here. Uh-oh. Waiting for an ambulance. Oh my god. Roadside parking fee. They need speed bumps as well, probably. Cool. How's that stone? Oh yeah. <laughs> the timber industry is up and running. The stone industry I did forget. So timber is now up and running, so that's good. Let's do stone. The stone I was just going to put somewhere maybe out here. Oh, I would meant to connect this as well. Let's just do that very quickly. Okay, so. Is this a one-way? No, this is a two-way highway. It's a weird one. Two-lane highway. Give them a way out, I guess. Hey, Regulos. Love to see it. Thank you so much for the support. Really do appreciate it. Helps a lot. And it encourages me to stream more, so thank you. I'm just connected like that. I know it's not perfect, but it's fine. Just get the ball rolling. Fine. Uh, so maybe make that a little roundabout. Smoothly transition on and off. That's a way out of the city for them. Alright, so stone. Stone could just be here, I think. Because it can be placed anywhere, so I feel like why not just use this bit of terrain here. Just trying to think, do we need to just pop it on the side of the... Yeah, I think pop it in here is fine. That's a gifted membership, and that went to Thomas McRaw. Thanks, Regulos, and welcome, Thomas, to being a member. Get your name in the credits. And a few other little perks on Discord and stuff. Make it angular. Somewhat angular. All right. Oh my God. Wow. Holy sh crap. I'd never, I had no idea. We, we built this before. I guess it was too small. I'd never seen that before. It's huge. Speaking of being huge, we could increase this now to be bigger. We were limited before. There's more coal to be had. And I think the bigger it gets, the more employees you often find, or it could just be to do the level. Not too sure. Oh, look at the size of that thing, man. It's massive. The intersection at Jamzil is also insanely huge. Jamzil? I won't. I don't want to tap out again, just for a little while. But if you remind me in a bit, we could look up things again. Google Hoon bus lanes. I'll tell you what, I'll just write it down on a piece of paper, and if we look up things again in a bit. So, that's Poon bus lanes. And the other one was Jamsil. Thanks. I want to keep the gameplay going a bit. All right, we're so close. We're about 360 XP away. What are demands? Big surprise. More demands for commerce, more demands for industrial. Still some demand for... Um, so I think not everyone's even moved in yet. Yeah, 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 some of these still have room for people to move in. So we're still meeting those demands all the time. Uh, okay, so yeah, maybe little offices, some more offices. Be like maybe. Let's try. Yeah. Group of offices there. I would do housing in here, maybe mixed housing, because this is a pedestrian street. So that way we'd have shops on the bottom, housing above. Don't think people are going to move into it for a while, though. I just feel like the demands aren't there. 
for this type of housing just yet, but I'll just keep it zoned so I remember that. And then I feel like I could even just do, again, more... We do try row housing now or something, because I feel like that might encourage people just to move in. And then in the future we can change it to something more dense. Alright, let's keep tackling the finance situation, see if we can improve things. Because we're now making our own stone, so that's good. We're making our own coal. We have wood. We have the loads of different agricultural imports, or um, produce, producing on site. We're not making oil or metal ores. Material goods, petrochemicals, beverages. These things, we're importing a lot of stuff. Interesting. Check on traffic as well. Flow is just under 80%. Depends on the time of day. It's 9.50 p.m. right now, so it will be really quite light to look at. But when we see it during the daytime, in the morning, you see that kind of commute. This road got really packed last time, although we seem to have reduced it quite significantly because we've given people way more options to get to the indus industrial area. I reckon as well more car parks would be a good idea. Damn, too big. I want to visualize where our car parks are. So we have one huge one there, a couple just dotted around up here. One up for the industry area. Alright, 1.9 million, 8 development points and 10 expansion permits. Car park's a little weird because it's kind of flat at the back, but it's going to have to be the way it is. This is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. Forest fire. That should be okay. Now that we actually have a fire. There they go. Look at them. Carrying 300 meters cubed of water. Alright. Um, do some communication stuff. We have a communication tower. And I have a post office. Not sure what else I need to do with that. So we have a communication tower there. Which gives us really good coverage. Not, f It's actually kind of on the outside a little bit, but it's still... I say really good, I mean like the radius is huge. So it's positioned right there. Yeah, the houses are kind of on the edge of it. You'd almost want to put it somewhere more like maybe even here. It'd be a better spot. It's 200,000 to move it. I'd like to definitely know where it's... Keep it where... It's, maybe there? Is that okay? To flatten the terrain beforehand. And that way it's really... I think where it's going to need to be. I do feel like where it is is actually pretty good. It just should have been maybe a little over more towards here. Maybe a bit further up for the future. I'll leave it where it is just because it's so expensive to move. Got people still moving in. Not many, but still some people moving in. Still just a massive demand for commerce again, so... We go where the customers are. There's really not much room left in terms of where we could put things. Some shops can go in there. One on the way into the town, I guess. Maybe a gas station might pop up there or something. Is anyone seen my key? My keys. What? Or in here? Oh, oh. Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, Maybe do a pathway in between uh, in between this as well. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan. All right. Oh, the weather's changing. The month has changed. It's winter. December. Waiting for ambulance. Not enough customers. Yeah, I know. Trying to help. More industries needed, so we might have to start doing up more roads up here and just adding some more industrial area. I think 
you need a new suburban neighborhood. Yeah, definitely. I do. Alright, let's just zone this really quickly then. Industry, please. Alright, it's tons of jobs for people. Do they need shops out there by any chance? Nope. No customers. Alright, so yeah, let's do another in the, um, suburban area. So I'll try to be quick with it. We'll just smoothen out some of the terrain here. Well, actually, first off, I'll just maybe flatten it a bit. Roughly. Try to raise that and smoothen that bit out. Let's make a horrible looking industrial, uh, not industrial, um, suburban estate, right? The row housing or whatever, or just even low density housing, but just, oh, whoops, but in a row. Just to get some people moving in. I was going to make it not a grid, but I guess screw it. <laughs> I'll just go pretty far up. Just pack this with people. Got pretty good ways out to get onto main roads and join traffic and stuff. Or not create too much traffic, I should say. Yeah, I think it's to do with the... This is a bigger road, so it's it has um, priority when it comes to zoning. Because even putting this down after, it made some zoning, but it doesn't erode all of it, so it's strange. Alright, let's try that. Probably want to give them a park or something to play with. <laughs> Get rid of the water puddles, the puddles, the little ponds, and lakes. Yeah, we're not expanding out there just yet. But I probably would do that, because it is uh, kind of in the way. Did it change? We're going North American. Yeah, that's fine. I must have done EU with that or something. I don't want to do the row housing. I want to see what the demands... The demands at the moment are just for low-density residential demand. Now, that could be either... Oh, no. That's medium-density row housing. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, just a couple um, parks and then like a path and stuff to carve through, just a couple areas, just to visually sort of break it up. I don't need crosswalks, that's fine. What the hell, dude? I think you probably have a crosswalk here. Alright. Parks. So we actually unlocked, um, just at the end of the last episode, basketball court, skate park, outdoor gym. These could be kind of nice. Maybe along here or something. That would kind of meet demand of both sides. To some degree. What is that? Basketball court?
free basketball courts. How about that? I can always move these if you're not happy. Oh, tennis court. Quite big. One tennis court. I know they don't actually use that path, but I think it'll still look nice. They look really, they really stand out. Let's try that. So they've got some stuff now. They should be pretty happy. <laughs> Lots of people should move in down here. I have to give them their own district as well. You missed the row of squares with one? Yeah, thanks. I managed to get it. Thank you, though. Dog park forever. How are you liking the game? I, it's really addictive. I gotta say, even for all its shortcomings, and it's clearly like not done or whatever, I still really enjoy playing it actually. And working out, I, I think it's because I'm just still le learning and working out these new systems that are in front of me. Oh yeah, large roads, intersections, underground parking. Underground parking is something people said would be really good. Gas power plant, emergency battery station. We want to get ourselves to profitability now if we can, that'd be nice. We were profitable yesterday for a little while. Trams, water, transport, subways, air. Trams are rail vehicles that carry passengers inside the city. I don't want to rush into anything just yet. Hospital, I think, would be good. We have the water treatment plant. We need to build that with the money we have. Incinerator plant. The university. I feel like it's still a bit early for that. A proper big fire station and a big police headquarters. I feel like it's time to get those bigger buildings. Large sports parks, server farms, telecom tower, and post sorting. An airport. <laughs> I just feel like it's too early. We're not, I wouldn't have the money to build any of that stuff. But a bigger fire station, because coverage has been rough for those two things. So for police and fire station, let's go for a university and see if we can afford it. And then the hospital as well. Now I can't really build any of it. The one thing I am going to build is a water treatment plant because we need one. Wastewater treatment plant. So does this provide... So it processes sewage and purifies it of its pollutants. The treated water is then pumped back into the network. The removed pollutants become garbage to be collected. It can be upgraded with advanced filtering systems and additional processing units. 480,000 to build one of these. Now the, gar the recycling center is actually up here. I'm kind of tempted just to put it nearby that. It doesn't really matter where it is. It doesn't produce pollution, right? It just takes in sewage. I kind of feel like up here would be a good place for it then. Yeah. So what we'll do is grab a road, unless people have objections. I'm not sure, but I think it, disasters will only happen after you reach a certain milestone. Uh, no, I've seen, well, I've seen fires and I saw a hurricane in the distance on the map really early on. And disasters are, are turned on, so I feel like we could have them at any time, but I don't know. Alright, it's a thousand XP just for that. 480,000. That is our water treatment facility. Now we do have upgrades. Extra processing unit. Obviously, it's. Oh my god, it's huge. Didn't realize how big that'd be. But yeah, I can just extend onto the back. It's not a big deal. What about this one? This is advanced filtering. 900,000. The upkeep then added on. 30,000. Increases the sewage purification rate, resulting in more sewage being turned back into fresh water. So, in I didn't actually look at the amounts. Um, in theory, we could get rid of some of that. So, sewage treatment, 300,000 per month. Whereas the sewage outlet was 100,000 per month. So, this does three times as much. That's good. So, we can get rid of these two now. And clear the sewage from our water. They're happy about that. Go underground. Get rid of the pipe. Alright, time's playing again. I 
I say traffic's pretty good. I mean, it's 1.30 a.m. right now, I guess. Alright, what's the money like now? 9,400. Yikes. Alright, so I'm gonna go through... We're gonna do some budget cuts. I think it has to be done. I do... Yeah, we've got plenty of dog parks down there. I like dog parks, too. Um, yeah, so we need budget cuts. So how's our electricity? It's really bad. We actually import. Rock Musician Mansion. Wow. Um... So we'll just have to leave that for now. Although I guess if we could make more, put an, another coal power plant down, that'd probably be good. Or find another source of energy. Wind? Do we have much wind? I noticed actually there isn't that much on the map. 0.71 out of 5 megawatts. And how much are we importing? 20. So we'd need quite a lot of these. The places where they're super strong is like outside the map, like here. Well, I can't do that. This is the city limit here, so... And this is the playable area I have. So up high, two. See, the higher up you go, the better, right? We've been flattening a lot of our terrain, so I guess that doesn't help. We go on this side, 1.24. I wish you would just tell me. I know it says city limits, but just tell me how much it would be if we were up here. Oh yeah, I've got expansion permits. We could build a little wind farm out here, maybe. Small cover plants. We do have gas power as well. Larger and more efficient than coal, with slightly less pollution. Fairly cost-effective to build and maintain, although running costs depend on the price of the fossil fuel. It can be upgraded with an additional turbine. You're listening to Second hmm. Radio with Jay Thomas yeah, Hornbuck. buy some tiles maybe up on the hill out here. I just don't know how much it is until I buy the tile, I guess, which is annoying. Uh, so that's one option, just before we just commit to that. Let's just have a look then at... A few other things. So that's the electricity consum consumption. That's fine. Water. So water availability is pretty high. So we can actually bring that number down a bit because sewage treatment and water is pretty good now. Let's. Uh, I can't trade it because I need to expand. I, if I bought tiles all the way to here, we could sell our excess water. What we could do instead, though, is just go to services and lower the amount now. Our budget is already at 60%. Service fee. Business and business pay for... Yeah, that's fine. Down to 50. I didn't realize we were so low already. There we go. That's better. More in line with where it needs to be. So that's a, a little cost-saving measure. Healthcare. Healthcare seems pretty good. Average health, 56%. It, that doesn't sound good, but it seems up... Or the availability seems pretty good, though. And we unlocked hospitals now. What's the... 58 out of 100 patients. They take in pharmaceuticals for it. Maybe just lower that down just a little bit. It also affects death care. How's our crematorium doing? That's fine. 91 bodies a month, Jesus. Alright, um... Next up. The fire service. Average fire hazard is... The average likelihood of... That's fine. We haven't really been having much fires, so I think it's okay. Garbage processing and landfill. So we do recycling. We don't actually have... The garbage is 55 tons a month. Oh, so it's really bad, actually. Oh, I see. The garbage is a negative. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't seem to be affecting anything. Garbage seems fine. But it does say here, our processing status is... Unless we're exporting our garbage off-map. Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. Don't see it there. People are super happy now on the meter. Yeah, they're really happy. Great. The only negatives. So I'll read through it just for people who can't see it as well. Reliable mail service. So people are loving the mail. Seven. Abundance of entertainment. Six. Spacious homes. Three. Unreliable healthcare. Negative two. Reliable internet. Two. Wealth. One. High taxes. Negative one. Abundance of leisure time. One. High noise pollution. Negative one. So pretty good. It's like we've balanced out most negatives, and then we're, we've added a bunch of positives. It's like wealth, plus one, high taxes, negative one. So it's like, oh, that's nice and balanced. <laughs> um, yeah, one thing that has me confused is just like garbage, 55 tons a month, and I'm processing 11. This is f filled up to 52 out of 50. But what 
where's the rest of it going? I'm not seeing it piling up in people's houses. The garbage accumulation is actually really low. So that makes me wonder, are, are we selling it or like paying someone to take it away? Because that seems to be a thing you can kind of do in the game. So service trade, imported water, electricity and sewage, service upkeeps, the upkeep of all these buildings. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I'm not sure if that's even a thing. It's not in the material goods section. It's not in the material section for production. Not in the services. We haven't ever taken a loan. Taxation. So I don't know. But I'm not going to change that if it's still fine. It seems like until it starts actually piling up and becoming a problem, I'm going to leave it. But we won't reduce the budget either. Disaster control police. So jail availability is really big. Prison availability really low. Two people are sentenced. But we don't have a prison. Long-term holding facilities for criminals. If prison capacity is full, prisoners are sent outside the city. Oh, actually, it might just tell me right there. Garbage piling up causes citizens' health to decrease. If the generation rate is higher than the processing rate, trucks can't collect all the garbage from the city. That's not a problem yet, so we'll see what happens in future. Mail availability. Mail rate. Ma People are happy about the mail rate, but yet here it says that they're making more than we're processing, so... Arguably, we could be doing better. Telecoms, totally fine. I think that's pretty much it that we need to look at. I'm not sure what else we can really reduce. Oh, that's cool to see. Tur uh, not that. This, though. What we import and what we sell. Your most important outside connection is the highway. It allows new citizens to move in, for tourists to visit the city, and for import and export of resources, goods, and even some city services. All maps come with at least one road-based connection to the outside world. New connections can be roads, railways, or seaways. Oh yeah, we need to be able to build rail. Trading is the important... Sorry, is the importing and exporting of goods and services. City services available for import and or export are electricity, water, and sewage, road maintenance, healthcare, garbage management. Oh, garbage management. So that does sound like it is a thing then. Fire and rescue, police, and education. To start trading, connect the power station to the power line connection. More connections can be built as desired for all of that. Yeah, for the power. Okay, fine. So top imports, top exports, coal, that's good. Selling some of our coal, our rock, our wood. We're making furniture, grain, steel, minerals, uh, vegetables, and cotton. Hmm. Mailbox in the new suburb. Oh yeah, we should add some around. And they don't have a bus route or anything yet either. But yeah, good call. Post-sorting facility could be something we get as well. But I'm trying to just help them. Not that we... Well, we do kind of need to think about fixing the money situation. Let's watch the new regions video together. I want to see your reaction. I've already seen the new regions? Or do you mean the asset pack? Uh, okay. I don't know about this. So let's check it out. Can to see my reaction? I don't have face cam on or anything. <laughs> Holy crap, City Planner Plays' this video has 550,000 views in two days. Pretty impressive. Um, cities, guidelines, panel. Oh, the region pack. Yeah, no, I already talked about it. I talked about it yesterday. I saw it before it went onto their YouTube because I think they put it in their stream. So I don't really have a reaction to it other than it's it seems cool. But I did talk about it yesterday. Uh, if you want to cut down on imports, you can do subsidies or lower taxes on certain industries. Yeah. Well, basically, I'm trying to I'm trying to balance some books, right? So service trade. What's that? Surplus from city services can be traded. So we're not trading anything away at the moment. Government subsidies is still helping me. Really, it's just my service upkeep is so high versus what we're taxing people and bringing in. I think I need to get more aggressive with the taxes. I had, to, uh, yeah, furniture is lower tax. I want more people to set up furniture shops because we make our own wood. We also go paper as well, I guess, maybe. Um... 
textiles, we have our own cotton. So bring that down. Let's bring it to eight. Anything that we have local. We'll only tax the commerce eight on that. And then for other stuff, we'll you raise the taxes. Recreation and entertainment, that's fine, whatever. Beverages, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, plastics, electronics, vehicles. More challenges soon Let us move now from the Software and telecoms. Yeah, telecoms I lowered as well for that reason. So industrial. My dear, Professor Hornbuckle. <laughs> and on to our main. More local news today. The tourists. Hear your reaction? My re sorry, sorry, yeah. My reaction is just it sounds good. You know, they're, they're free. I can't complain about free. Um, I hope the quality is consistent across all the various different modders that are basically doing it. Um, I've got no problem with them paying modders to make content for the game for free. I assume they're being paid. Some people were saying like, oh, it's kind of like a step towards paid mods. It's like, well, not really. I'm fine with them hiring talented asset creators and using them, using the community. Because it's unrealistic to expect them to have a team of massive artists who just sit there making assets all the time. And then when the game comes out or whatever, I don't know. It just seems like they wouldn't have that much to do other than just constantly churn out DLC. So the fact that they're using the community to leverage their creations, I guess, get them working for them in a more professional manner, I think it's great. Um, haven't seen the buildings though really, you know, properly, so it sounds good on paper. Seems like a good thing. Right, so basically I don't know if this is going to do anything. I'm just lowering the taxes of the things that we make on site, and I'm raising the taxes of the things we don't. We're keeping them high at least. Now, 8% might be quite low, but I really want to encourage these businesses to set up here and stay here. But it's like I'm giving them subsidies, I guess. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Textiles as well. Now, overall, I don't know if this raises the minimum. It does. I'm going to go up to 13. Then just bring that down to 8 again. So a higher ceiling, but a lower floor as well, if you do the right thing. I didn't check that number at the beginning. I wonder if it's going to go up or down. But it also depends on what gets set up here in the future. Okay. No change to money, really. <laughs> But we'll see what happens with businesses. How many open jobs? So few workers. We still have a huge demand for industry. So now setting up new industry. Hopefully more people will take those tax incentives. The new businesses that set up. A lot of industry. We have room for much more as well if you want to build it out there. I like to make more logs and things as well. Have these started to grow again? Yes, they have. The wood is coming back. That's good. And it's winter now as well. I wonder does that affect what gets made or sold or anything? I like this uh, tower just up here. Pretty cool. I give them subsidies. It makes the likelihood of them spawning in your city to be higher. Yeah, I would assume so, right? The logic is pretty simple. It's like, okay... You pay less tax if you come to the city. We also make what you need here, so less imports as well, generally. But I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know. If, well, I did, yeah, you're, you're banking on the fact that hopefully they set up more businesses to do with these things. So that even though the tax is lower, overall the gain is greater, right? So I guess we'll see. We're at 8558, and now 75, so it's getting better. More people are just setting up anyway still oh my god the demand I can't get over that can we see employment versus unemployment or anything company profitability workplace availability so no workplaces there <laughs> oh it's all uneducated workforce is it yeah workplaces from low to high and it's just gray. I think this is like no jobs, is it not? Population. 
Birth rate, death rate, employed, unemployed. Unemployment is 16%. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's fix this. Get you guys even more gerbs. I had no idea. I just assumed we had way more industry. The amount of industry you need. Look at the size of it. I know we have high density residential, but goddamn. Alright, that's tons of industry now for you. Let's get that unemployment number fixed. I saw Biffa lower taxes for certain industries and more of them moved in. That's good, good. 523 open jobs. So we have jobs 8,000, employed 6,600. So there's still 1,200 jobs. Unemployment just went from 14% to 5 getting lower and lower as they're getting their jobs. But obviously it's based on education level as well, so some people may never be employed if they can't find the right job. We're close to a thousand people without jobs now, it's not too bad. Well, that's not even true, sorry. It's just that's the amount of uh, discrepancy between the two, yeah. 4,000 now, good. More people paying their TXs. How's that bus route working out for us? Pretty good. I suppose we can modify this line now, maybe. Third a waypoint there. And third another waypoint down here, maybe? Alright. Yeah. I don't need that many. I think that's fine. And then we just delete one or two of the other ones. So we don't need that one anymore. And then we just have to go. So you're going forward. Obviously messed something up though because the lanes are going backwards. So this is... I don't understand. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, get you onto that actual stop. That's good. Get you onto that stop. I'm going to move that there. This is in a weird spot. It's like on the corner. Right? Yeah, I'm after messing something up because I think it's instead of just turning right and coming back down, it's going to this one and then looping back around. So I need to tell it to get off that one, but I don't know how to do that. Because it might get rid of it at the beginning. Oh, there's a waypoint there. Let's so get rid of that, get rid of that, and bring this down. There. Alright, but better. So now the bus is going to go on a bit of a longer route around here, but hit more places, I guess, for people to get to. Now, these guys don't have a bus route themselves. Maybe they could do with one. Or we could just expand that one out. I feel like that's a bit too much. The Shady Acres and whatever this place is going to be called. The south of Shady Acres. I, I suppose maybe just one or two bus stops. So... Alright, so I think we'll start somewhere like here. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just not sure what the best way to pick these people up is and then bring them onto the same route. So 
this is just going to be kind of a, a route that goes around this area kind of more locally. Not too many, but it allows them to transfer. Uh, so that should be okay, I think. We will put it here instead. Change the order of the stops. Not sure exactly what you mean. Uh, also, a percentage never looks good for... Uh, a percentage never actually looks for a job. There's an effective base on employment. I don't know what you mean. Do you mean there's never ever a 0% kind of thing? Right, so that should be a route for them to kind of get picked up and move around, but also just make a connection here so they can go further in. Um, but it would be nice to set up, like, rail and trams and stuff. I already fixed it. Okay, cool. Uh, I think you could be earning more. Yeah, I don't know how I... How, what to do to earn more. I mean, I've taxed them before and it was totally fine. We were able to tax the crap out of them. They're super happy, so I could just whack up taxes and then you would be making more money. Like, we could bring it up to, like, 16. And, uh, happiness will probably say pretty good. But, I don't know, I just, I'm trying to learn the economy and see, like, I feel like that could have a drastic effect somewhere that I'm not really aware of. But, I mean, the housing demand is still great. Money's almost profitable now. Happiness is still through the roof. High tax is negative four. It's not even that bad. Now we're making money, so. It's not like it's a massive challenge to turn profit, but I was trying to think of, like, a way to do it more normally rather than just taxing people. Um, yeah, I need to create that new district. Field. Ah, they don't need speed bumps, they're fine. Do a little recycling. How about that? Uh, let's get some more people to move in. Is anyone seen my keys? Keys? What? Over in the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, no. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the. Brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. If anyone finds them, please don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind then. I wonder what a little bit of Thank commerce you. be okay here. Do they have any demand? No customers here, but I think a little commerce there or something might be okay. There's no sinking this bug, Glenda. And on to our main feature story. All right, more people are moving in. The district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. All right. Okay, open to suggestions now. We're still super happy, and look how much money we're making now. I guess the answer is tax. Maybe higher taxes is the new normal for this game. And lower taxes for things you want to increase. I guess so. I mean, we went from negative 8,000 to plus 4,000 just by increasing taxes and setting up, setting up a few new businesses. And also fixing unemployment. I mean, that was a problem, right? We had a lot. Now we're down to 2.8%, so that's pretty good. So there is still 1,400 jobs. The city's population consists of various ages, different age groups, etc. The population grows by new citizens, sorry, by both new citizens being born within the city and by people moving in from elsewhere. Citizens can also move out if they cannot find a job, if the city doesn't offer activities they enjoy, or if they simply cannot afford to live there. So at the moment, we have a, a, the companies are the ones that will be complaining, right? It's like we can't hire. There's, we have open positions. And there's not enough people. I wonder, um, this is something I struggled with in City Skylines 1. I would love to know what education level 
of jobs are they looking for that we haven't met? Now, we don't have a university, so maybe it's just all the high educated jobs aren't being filled right now. So 10 out of 12, for instance. Open positions, 2. So well-educated, 2 out of 4. So that's a good one random example there. What about this one? Open positions, 1. It's in the poorly educated category. I imagine we'll see in the offices a lot of the highly educated being lacking. Highly educated, 5 out of 5, actually. I don't know where they came from. <clears throat> well-educated, 15 out of 17. I guess they can move in as well. Unlike City Skylines 1, you can... Uh, no company here. Building is empty and available for rent. Oh, wow. Oh, so is this one. That's weird. Interesting. No open positions. Hmm. What are the demographics do we have? Population happiness, citizen wealth, workplace availability. There we go. This is workplaces based on terrain color. So there's jobs out at our various industries. Is this correct? Yeah, kind of. I mean, there's ten open or eight open positions here for educated. Eighteen open positions here for educated as well. Educated. That's out of a uh, high school, right? We're at 175 out of 800. Maybe we just need more people. Put a shop or two near the parks. Yeah, that's what I was thinking down here, but I just don't know if it would ever get used. Um. I feel like gas stations and stuff would always pop up, like, right next to a little roundabout, so it'd be cool if, you, if that just happened. I wonder will they have enough customers, just one being placed there, you know? Maybe. It'd be kind of nice. Another one maybe here. Shop late. 1122 Umber Street. This is two different buildings. Chemicalor and Oceanport. Oceanport Pharmaceuticals. Little drugstore. Near the basketball courts. Oh, yeah. I'll leave in a little gap to the house just so that they're not too annoyed. <laughs> what are you open jobs? So few workers. What gives? Need more people, I guess. 80 acres has come along nicely. The trees are kind of starting to grow. They're about, seems like about 20 to 30% of the way there. Money's good now, is it? 1,200? So, what's going so well? Taxes are great. Service fees. Service trade. Selling our excess. Government subsidies. Production. We've got a surplus of wood. 115 tons per month. So we're only consuming 160... Sorry. Um, we're only consuming 50 per month. That's interesting. So, so much of it has just been sold off. Same with grain. We're actually still bringing in livestock, though. That's interesting, right? So that would show you that we need more livestock farms if you want to cut that out, that import duty out. Same with vegetables. Cotton, though, we have a little bit left over to sell. Coal, we've got loads. S rock, we've got a good amount left over. Kind of interesting. Um, well, we could set up another livestock farm. We just make literally another small one here or something. Do the livestock farms import grain? Hey, we can actually see cows. <coughs> Poor bastards being kept <laughs> in this tiny pen when they've got all this land around here. Uh, now they have jobs and money. Maybe ledger options for them to spend on. Yeah. Parks and Recreation. Is there any other category for Leisure? Signature Buildings. We have the Rock Musician Mansion, which is just a famous rock star lives in this mansion when not on tour. It just gives you XP to put it down. How much is it? Does it cost anything? It doesn't cost anything. Oh my god. 
Put him down by the other guy, the pop star. Oh, it's going to mess with the terrain if I do that. Hmm. It's there. I might move it in the future, but on the corner. What's at the back? Oh, skate park. Yeah, he's loving it. He's a rock musician. He's like, yeah, I built it. That's his skate park. <laughs> That's a nice looking building. And now it's not such a nice looking building. <laughs> Sorry, you're not supposed to angle the camera down. I forgot. Wait for it to like load back in. Like, quick, enjoy how it looks before it, like, unloads and the bushes are still unloaded. No animations for anything. Yeah, it's so funny, like, how... Man, they must have been so stressed out trying to get... Knowing how the game was going to have to come out. The developers, anyway. I don't know. I assume... I don't want to, I don't know, but I would assume, I don't always assume it's the publisher's fault, but I would assume Paradox were like, you gotta get this out this year, for some reason. Or it could be the Xbox deal or something that they were like, yeah, we have a Game Pass deal, it's hitting in October, you can't miss that. Or we'll lose like three million pounds or something. Like, okay. Well, I guess we just won't do, we won't do those animations yet. Let's uh, be a fly in the wall, see what really went down. Um, put him on that island. The one out there. His own island. Put him in the middle of a lake. I'm happy to just leave it there. It's fine. Obviously, just wanted the XP and just to see the building, really. Nice, but it's not loading properly anymore. Well, there it is. Now it's loaded. Once you get the high-res textures popping in. But then if you spend too long angling the camera, it, like, unloads. You have to zoom out, and then we get, like, all this pop in. We usually do. It's kind of changed since they patched it, but now it's still just inconsistent. Anyway, we've got our bus rolling through. This is our orange bus. The new line is orange. Three passengers. They are loving it. It's actually 1 p.m. Lunchtime rush. tourists get like a little tour bus to go past the uh, Rockstar's house. See what's going on. I don't imagine we'll pick up any people down here. That's why I only made it a crossover line. Cool seeing their car parked in there. And we'll check those businesses, see what opened up. Five people on the line. <laughs> This is where it would cross over with other people. So people should be getting out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that's exactly what you want to have happen. They just get out here. Because then they want to get the other bus. That'll take them into the city. So that's exactly what I wanted. So that's good. And there shouldn't be many on that route. Uh, bus line five. So there's five vehicles. There's way too many. Just put it down to three. All right. So what do we have? Batty bite. Perfect. Fast food right next to some, you know, local gym facilities, basically. <laughs> kind of. Mansions still need to be close to other population to get the boost. The mansions still need to be close to other population to get the boost. Then a one... Oh, you're talking about the, um... Yeah, the well-being within 500 meters for these guys, so... Putting it at the bottom of the city is not great, but this will expand out in the future, so... He might be centralized. This one as well. <laughs> I wonder, does it, it probably goes based on the road as well, so I imagine to get to, to boost these guys is pretty far away. Although they can look across the water and see him. See what goes on at the ranch. With the island. Alright, so what do we got? We still have incredibly high com commercial demand and industrial demand. I just can't ever meet it. I don't know why. <laughs> In fact, didn't we have too many people? Too many jobs? It seems really strange that it wants to open up more and more industry. And it wants more and more commerce when there's like not enough customers, even in areas where I built commerce that have customers. Damn, man. 
the school area is being reserved. Like, I really, this is where I struggle now. It's like, what do I do for the demands that we have? Just keep building more and more suburbs like this, because that's all we have is low density. That's, that's all I can think to do. All right, let's, so what's the, let's build out the suburbs a little further. How long have I been streaming, by the way? We are starting, we got about 40 more minutes. Oh, you did say fill in those. Yeah, what happens if you fill in? Let's find out. The water. Just infinite amount of suburbs, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's it's like okay, <laughs> I guess so. Let's see. Actually, let's try to read why local demand, labor availability. So, because of so many people, labor availability. You'd think that would be high unemployment, but that's not really the case. 4.2%, fairly low. Okay. The city has adopted Gas the station availability. All citizens are encouraged to place their recyclables in the proper High skill recycling. labor availability local. Let's keep hmm. our city green and beautiful. Start today. That's kind of nice. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been uh, Oh yeah, the other thing I want to do is expand energy. Okay, right, so conditions. I'll do that. Please Actually, now in just one sec. Could we go further down this way? Well, I wanted to kind of go up there, so that's at least. I mean, you could go up in a line, I guess. Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked out by the radio station. Oh, wait. Industry in the region is. All right, let's uh, fill these in. Some of them are kind of nice. Actually, I might leave that one and just build around it. It's kind of cool. But these ones can go. It is the best internet connection ever. Nice. <laughs> None of those pools of water will just go away. They don't seem to be flowing anywhere. Oh, they kind of are, actually. This one's like... Merging. It's trying to merge. 50%! That was 50% strength. I, I tapped it. I think it's based on the speed of the clock, actually, thinking about it. And then we'll do smoothening and just massively increase the bush. 100%. Smoothen that all out. Hope it just kind of figures out now. It might just bleed over and blow out to the, the coast, right? We'll just give it some time to figure it out. Hello, Jahim. Yahim. Uh, just wanted to say thank you for the content you make love your guys. Hey, appreciate that, Yahim. Thank you. Houses around water may have been more valuable, like in CS1. Yeah, I assume so. Um, I think land value is higher out for these guys. Although not really, actually. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't actually seem to be the case. What about down here? Nope. Low is white. Blue is high. So high land value is up in, in this area. Doesn't seem to care about being coastal right now. Maybe they'll patch that in. Alright, have we gotten rid of that? Almost. So while I'm waiting for that to hopefully figure its way out, 
away, we'll put down some of the wind turbines. Happiness has fallen a bit. We're making way more money. 11,000, 12,000 now. Wow. I would even, maybe even go a little easy on them for a bit. Axe-wise. Um, okay, so. Power. Wind turbine. Do I have to angle it myself, or does that matter? Does probably doesn't matter. I don't know. Don't tell me you need a road. Okay, good. No, they don't. What was that? That's three, four, five, six, seven. And they're giving me on average four, I think, megawatts we saw with those ones. Let's try that to start off. So we'll connect them to electricity down below. Is this already beneath the ground? It is. I think it's because my elevation is set to negative 20. That's why. Cool. All right. Well, what's our power situation now? Consumption 48, production 50. Perfect. We're even exporting electricity now. Love to see it. Lock them to the substation? Don't need to, do we? That's, I don't really get the whole transformer and battery thing. Like, I don't really get that because it all just works if you just connect it through electric cables anyway. So what's the point of having... I mean, I have a transformer that takes it out out of the city, but that's just connected here. So I feel like... On the, I guess the point is if you're building in a different spot of the map, a little remote village or something, I guess that's why you do it. How was that? The waste water plant. Ours are flowing in. Hmm, don't know where the road does that. Also, we don't need lights there. Oh, because of it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Are you just walking into the city? Where'd you come from? Oh, from over there. Hi. I never really thought about it, but I mean, I guess people do work there. We should probably maybe set up one bus route to take people out there or something. Is our big miner still there? Yeah, it is. Look at that. What a beast. The excavator. Oh my god, he's got another thing. gonna go straight through that fence is it yeah oh no it's going out <laughs> i guess the uh tracks aren't moving <laughs> if we look at it from about here it probably looks better <laughs> the transformers can get overloaded and have a bottleneck oh really do they have a capacity 80 oh yeah oh that's good to know that's great to know in fact thank you It says usage 1%. I guess that's because the electricity is just mostly flowing here. We're not exporting 80. We're only exporting like a, a couple of megawatts. So it's probably, that's why it's like 1%. I would assume. <laughs> but yeah. We've got office demand again now. So we could try more offices in around here. Oh, nice. The people did actually move into the mix, the mixed zoning here. So this is, um, 
excuse me, medium density and commercial on the bottom. So shops on the bottom. And it's actually a pedestrian street, but I guess these delivery vans come in and drop things in and out. We don't actually need a cargo service point like the previous game. All right, offices at the back. What's actually here? Ah, so now that more people have moved in, our, yeah, we can actually build a few more shops and things. That's good. Uh, let's try to mix it up. Let's see what happens. We'll go commerce there. A little bit of office. Do more office to there. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Meeting some of the demands in both spots. I would say then try that mix zoning again if you can. Low density can go out here. I'll get rid of that. See, this would look really weird, but I might just try medium density row housing. We don't have any demand for medium density though. Why? Taxes unoccupied. Oh, so there's some that are already unoccupied. Yeah, I guess this still counts as medium density, some of it. A lot of them are unoccupied. And people are in college now. Wow, way more. 553 in college. Cool. Still haven't added a university, though. A massive complex that offers education for the academically orientated. Provides a fourth level of education. Can be upgraded with an extension wing library. Oh my days, look at the size of this. Well, that's where you want it, right? Somewhere central like that. Some big, massive campus thing. Could have it on the inside and have that... Uh, I feel like it'll probably cause problems with that. But yeah, something like that would be cool. 1.5 million, should we do it? We are making money. Although this will... How much is the upkeep? 140,000 a month. Jesus Christ. 140,000 a month, so we're paying by the hour. There's 24 hours in a month in this game, so 140,000 divided by 24. It's 5,800 upkeep is what I'd, it would hit me with. Despite the gameplay benefits of a substation next to the wind farm, it looks better because they usually have a few in wind farms. Yeah, I've actually never even seen a wind farm. I saw one recently, way off in the distance. We drove down to, was it? Yeah, it was in Brighton. It was way off in the distance. I was like, holy shit, there's like a massive wind farm out at sea. Um, I've actually never really seen one on land. I don't think, ever. Our medical clinic. get a hospital instead now. 694,000 a month. Holy crap. It's like four times as expensive to upkeep as a university. Jeez. That's cool. It's interesting to be like, oh, I really got to like work towards being able to afford that stuff. And we now have a bigger fire station. So how's the fire situation? So we've got three in total so i'm wondering like would i be able to just replace the small ones with one big one this is too big to fit in there it almost fits sideways though but no And how much is the upkeep for that? 183,000. This is... Fi oh my god. Forget it. This is so much cheaper. We don't need to do that. <laughs> Not yet. We do have the firefighting helicopter depots, though, which is very expensive to upkeep. Speaking of fires, I've got one right now. Who's this person? Definitely that person. Mm -hmm. Denton Tucker. You can just tell. Look at him. He's taking a selfie in front of it, actually. Is he? He's actually doing the... He's actually taking a selfie in front of a burning house. Oh, why does everything have to unload? This would be a great screenshot. <laughs> it's such a tragedy that that happens. We angle down. Will this car come back into frame? I'm so sorry, son. Er, well, I'm not really sorry. I don't know what you did. Let me see what you said. Oh, it's because you wrote in all caps. Yeah, it's not my... I didn't do that myself. 
stream elements will detect, I guess, um, if people are like spamming or whatever, all caps. But he said, make an administrative district in the middle of that big square. Put the big police station, fire station. I don't have the money for any of that stuff, but it would be nice. Like I said, this is 2.1 million just to build a fire station. I've got 2.2. I couldn't afford the upkeep anyway. Hospital, 1.8 million. So I could buy, I build one of them. Have realism, yeah. Let me just zoom out and see if we can force things to load back in. And then I'll try to zoom in and get a little screenshot of that. It could be a fun one. Keep the camera angled down until the last minute. I could get a much better one if I spent some time. It's just I'm worried it'll, uh, things will unload. Although it might be okay. No. It's unloading. <laughs> oh well. That's still a good screenshot. That's funny though. Yeah, we'll keep him followed. Mm. I want to know more about this guy. Happy shopping. He's shopping right now. February 2018. Employee. Police. He's a, he works for the police. Or he, he works at the police station. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he totally did this. Where does he live? He lives next door. Yeah, I bet he does. He's out of there. Oh, crap. They do have water animations. Look at that. That's cool. Doused. The hell out of here, Tucker. Before they find out. Where are you going now? 60 some 667 Amity Street. This is just like my car. It's actually exactly like it. <laughs> Good cover for your video. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, might change the thumbnail to that. It reminded me of that, um, it's the girl, you know the meme, where it's like the girl looking like kind of dastardly with the burning house in the background as if she's the one that did it. Kind of like that, although he's just straight up, <laughs> I guess, owning it and taking the photo himself. Along with up there. Track, oh yeah, that's fine. I do need to build a, build a railway, actually. Yeah, see if it, it would be cool. Uh, it'd be fun if you had time on the game as a developer to actually fires don't start randomly, but you actually pick someone that is going to do the crime and then they go and do it. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, why have we slowed down so much? Is there a big speed limit on this road or something? Oh, is this within um, a district perhaps? He's about to enter a district, Willow Downs. Roadside parking fee. There's no speed bumps or anything though. Yeah, I don't know why he slowed so much. Taking a left turn, are you? He is. Whoa. See where he goes. I know we could just check the building, but you don't get to see the route they take, so I just want to follow him. Hidden mission with special achievements. Yeah, that kind of thing would be cool. Imagine if citizens could take selfies and other pictures. Would you? Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be super cool. That's a brilliant idea. That's actually like relatively doable. I think as well, from my knowledge of how I would do that is basically, so a camera has an XYZ coordinate, right? And then it obviously has its field of view settings and things like that. So what you could do is you could have a, you know, a citizen take screen, like take pictures. The pictures will always be from the sidewalk locations. So you just go like, you take a snapshot. It's like, okay, you get down to their level, which the game can do. And let's just say, <laughs> this, oh my god. This is what they see, right? <laughs> um, 
But yeah, so this would be the XY coordinate of the camera. So you just take like a, a snapshot of that. Now that photo doesn't need to render or load until you load it in Chirper. So it doesn't actually have to do any processing until it appears here. So if you were to check Chirper and you wanted to like click to see the photo or the photo would pop up here, then it would have to load. So then it would have to do a, a quick one frame render of a different location. Could be taxing if there was loads of it, but if you controlled it where it's only like once every now and then, that could be pretty cool. I think you could do it. Great suggestion. And you could get some cool screenshots of your city. This is when he went into 60 some. He's buying some food. Still making good money, even when, though we lowered the taxes. We'll have insanely high everything demand, pretty much. City policies. Taxi minimum fare. Prisoners are enrolled in educational programs. We don't have any prisons or anything. I don't know what next to build. The scale between one police station and the big one, like the, the jump of money is, is really quite incredible. <laughs> I think we just need more and more and more suburbs. So let's just do that, like I said, ages ago and then never did it. But we need to flatten this area much more. Just flatten it a tiny bit more. Smoothen that out. Can't build around the, the creek yet, as it were. Fill this with random houses, basically, now. Be a straight road, I think. Just connect all the way straight down. And in here, we'll do a bit more chaotic building. Uh, I don't want to do turns that sharp, because your zoning really gets screwed that way. Do the um, curvy road. better if you used cova sacks instead of roundabouts in the suburbs would look better cova sacks do you mean cul-de-sacs like this are you saying not use them just use a straight up just leave it like this either or you know i think it's fine either way we could try it we could do that down this way if you prefer i just thought it was kind of a new feature in this game so i was like oh yeah cool just slam a roundabout on the end of it like a mini little cul-de-sac thing This is not good. <laughs> I'm doing it too random. I need at least some kind of plan. All right. Also, I'm not totally sold on this side. Let's fix that. Okay. I'll do it a bit more deliberately. I was kind of trying to rush it a bit. I like the ones we've made up here. Those look good. So we'll just try to continue that style. All right, so this can go straight till there and then it needs to curve just a little bit. Follow the terrain. This is going to continue down, because it's going to eventually go that way. But for now, we'll just cut across with this. Straight line. I like the idea of having a sort of a pier or a road that leads to some sort of waterfront kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. Use the mining industry cache until you can get high-density office buildings. And then you'll have plenty of money. 
not much further than you, and have about 40 million in positive cash flow. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, but did you need, to get really a lot of offices going, did you need, um, a university done? I mean, I've got some offices. You know what, I didn't even look at, actually, the fact that, yeah, we should be working towards the next thing. EU high-density business. And then it's high-density offices, so small city. So it's only two milestones away, yeah. I didn't even really think about that. I forgot about progression altogether. <laughs> kind of felt like we had everything, but of course, we don't. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah, really good again. Thanks for asking. Trying to work out. Maybe we'll probably pull them in down this way. There's no turns here yet, so... Maybe... Further in. I want it to go pretty far before it actually makes that turn. Yeah, I want it to be straight road to there. And then it can start to turn. Get rid of that bit and we can connect that in a sec. This road not a 90 degree angle with that one. No, it might not be. That's 90 degrees there. I don't really get the way it says 90 and then 89. Like, why can't it be both? I don't really understand. I'm not very good at math. <laughs> but why can't it be both? It's like impossible to have a 90 degree angle on both sides. Alright, whatever. It says it's in water. There's a little bit of water still here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Not sure what I could do about that. I suppose I could carve out a little area where it can maybe flow out or something. Kind of working. Cool. Give it some time, maybe. This wasn't 90 degrees where it starts? Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Ah, oh, okay. God damn. How did I do that? Sorry. Let's make sure we're snapped onto the very center, straight down, 90 degrees. I said 90 anyway beforehand. Get rid of that for a second, let that maybe figure itself out and maybe flow out of here. Alright, so somewhere down here. There we go, there's your 1990 that we were looking for. Go straight through. Okay. Roundabout. Uh, I only have a college, okay. Uh, I saw a thumbnail of Biffa saying something like, education is key. Education is everything because you tax people based on their education. I haven't put down that type of, um, we have every type of education except for the university. But yeah, taxes based on education, so people make their money based on their education, I guess. That gives them, that determines what kind of job they can get, I guess, and that determines how much they make. How much they make is how much you tax them for. So you want to have lots of highly educated people that you can tax them. They'll pay more taxes, even if the percentage even if the percentage is 5% for highly educated and it's 5% for well-educated, you know, in theory, the highly educated people are making more money, so 5% is more. You get more out of them. We don't have any right now. They're on zero. Uh, we have some well-educated people, though. Even though well-educated... So we're making 66,000 uh, off of them. 
We look at education. Three percent of our population are well educated, but look how much they pay in taxes. They pay. Whoops. We make sixty-seven thousand off of them. So three hundred thousand, and then sixty. So up, um, twenty percent. Yeah. So this is twenty percent of that number, basically. Let's just call it, say it is twenty percent of that number. But it's not 20% of that. In fact, it's 10%. So comparing the two here, you get so much more money out of them. There's so few of them, but we make so much more out of them per person. Uh, I know the numbers are slightly different, right? Because the percentage is 1% different. But that's why, obviously, you want to have lots and lots and lots of highly educated people. Uh, but you, you do need to maintain some of the lower tiers for certain industries, right? And things like that. So I guess it's like all a big balancing act. But yeah. Increasing garbage disposal should help with the healthcare issues that keep popping up. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't know if that's a bug for me or not. Not the garbage itself, but the fact that we're seeing that it says here. Um, garbage accumulation. Low. High. Everyone's low. But clearly, we're only processing 11 tons per month. But garbage is piling up at 73 tons per month. All I've got is one recycling center. So it's clearly like not enough. But I think what it said somewhere else earlier is that it goes off map. We read something about that. I couldn't find it for a while. And then somewhere I did read that it says like it, it picks up garbage. Um, but yeah, that could be the health problem then, is it? Alright, I'll try to fix that in a second. Let's just do this road. Well, I should come up from here first. Making that mistake. Okay. It's not straight either. No, it is. Okay. Feels off. Feels like I've come in at an angle again. How do you lower the garbage disposal rates? City advertisement on how to do your garbage... Yeah. Well, you can tell them to recycle. That actually helps. Yeah, you can upgrade the recycling center. I actually did already. Um, I added one upgrade to it, which helped process from 10 tons per month to 11 tons per month. We could also store more, but I don't think that would really make a difference. We're just not... It, it would need to upgrade... We need 10 of these, you know? We need a lot. Uh, each one is 40,000. The actual building, uh, upkeep, I mean. If you have a look at the actual building. I mean, so it's four times the cost. So if you're going to, instead of building four of these, you should just have another recycling center, it seems like. But you can add a little bit extra to it, I suppose. And I guess it's all dependent on space as well. And employees and stuff. Air pollution, noise pollution, medium. Uh... Efficiency 105, 200,000 a month. How much money do we have? Uh, at least to help it along a little bit, but I do feel like ultimately we just need another solution, right? We need the in either the incineration plant. Let's get an incineration plant. I think that'd be good. How much is that? Processing capacity 40 a month. And this one, 50 per month. Industrial waste processing site. A specialized facility for collecting and handling the most hazardous and toxic waste products that result from industrial production. 
Negative to industrial ground pollution citywide. I would do... I think we'll get an incineration plant. If I can afford it. I think I need two points, actually, so I don't think I can. Um, and then upgrade the recycling center we have. We could also just build another recycling center. Somewhere along the line. Have a second one. The one upgrade right there. Now we're doing 12 tons per month, so we'll burn through a little bit quicker. We could add, add storage, storage extension on the side. Get that XP. Now we can store up to 100. Be another one. Alright, so... Getting pretty... Whoops, Jesus Christ. Getting pretty serious now. Most upgraded building I've ever had. But still, going to be woefully below what we need. But it might help lower the cost of... I assume people coming in and taking it away. 10.9 per month. If you give it a minute while these new cars come out and they bring it back in, it should go up to, um, yeah, 13. Almost there already. As we burn through what's in storage. Greetings from Germany. Loved your CS1 series. Thank you, Nehrum. Um, That also doesn't make sense to me unless... Oh, sorry, you're applying to someone else. Haven't played this. Just shooting in the dark. Oh, yes, no, no worries. You think uh, none of us really have, right? We're all just basing it off of either other YouTubers' guides or like what would work logically. <laughs> That's been 10 hours since I started to watch your both streams videos. This can't be healthy. <laughs> Thanks, Fortnite boy. Yeah, time is melting away. I'm really enjoying playing the game, though. I don't. I've, I was going to plan on starting a new series, but I kind of dread it. I feel like I'm still not ready. Oh my god, there's somebody dead. It's the crematorium, just super busy. 89... Bodies a month, seven deceased out of twenty. No, they're okay. They've got one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five people returning. Got a death wave going on, and then still some places that not don't have enough customers yet. I think it's a temporary measure. I'm just gonna put in more low tier residential housing in these groups, and one day I'd like to upgrade them, but just because we have this space available. That's just regular houses are going to pop in there. But hopefully that provides some customers. It probably won't be many because it's low density. And we'll do more low density out here. Because that's just what we got the demand for all the time. Although we do get demand for medium. But it just goes away immediately almost. Because one building has like, you know, so many houses in it. That if it's not full, as soon as you get demand, it just empties out straight away. Alright. I'm liking the layout of this so far. It's kind of cool. Do we want to bring that down and curl around? I actually think I'll just leave it as is. And we could put a tiny little roundabout there. I think I have to get Skylines 2 now too. You're basically deciding my gaming schedule. One thing I would advise for people... Well, see, I could be still in the honeymoon phase as well, right? It's like, oh, I still have new systems. I'm still working things out. It's super fun to do so. Definitely getting many hours out of it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, and we have so much to go to. Although, I guess towards the end, it's just lone... <laughs> you get bigger loans. So so the progression stops at small city. We actually are only two pips away from basically maxing out all the stuff you can get. And I guess this is all room for either DLC updates or just giving yourself more expansion and space to get different things. We're almost there, actually. If we could just advance two more things, maybe we'll be able to just get loans, build hospitals and all that stuff. And then see how we do from go from there. Yeah, I would cut in from here. Cut in dead straight. It's tempting to link those roads. Hmm. Yeah, let me just change this bit. Sorry. Wonky. 
The only problem with that is it's just, I don't know, it doesn't really fill those gaps properly. I, I, don't, I don't like this as much as I did, uh, leaving it the way it was. I think this could come up now, maybe just turn to the side and that'd be it. Do one over. Oh my god. There we go. Would this be weird? <laughs> Maybe a little bit? Yeah. I'm sorry for being so indecisive. I'm just trying to make something kind of like interesting, you know, from a distance when you sit back and you look at it and you go, yeah, that's a little suburb. Could connect them with pathways and maybe put a park or something nearby. Then we have trees and stuff in between. I'm okay with that. Let's leave it as, at that for now. And we can just zone this. So let's start figuring out some parks. Do we have the more recreational area over there? We could do that similar thing here maybe in future, but we have a large plaza, large city park. Might be nice to have that somewhere on the end here. And then just have a path that comes off and connects or something. Pedestrian access. fine. Whatever. <laughs> Wish that could get extend there. When the houses move in, it'll look better. Park would be good. Dog park. How could we not have a dog park, eh? Dog park. I'll tell you what, because I didn't... Yeah, I've got another idea. Sorry. We'll just bring this road down a little further because there's no reason for it to just end there anymore. I was going to do something with it, but then I decided not to. So now it can definitely come down just a bit further before it really upsets the zones on this side too much. Just to there. So now the path can just go straight across. Now we can put some trees next to it or something that might look a little bit nicer. So I don't know if this will work. But let's just see. Yeah, it does. That connects the two areas. Fine. All right, so... Park tools, dog park. Maybe go somewhere else with that. I'll say maybe somewhere down here on the corner. It always feels so small to me, the dog park. Like, isn't a dog park like huge? This is more like a little playground with it's like those dog sporting things where they run through tunnels and stuff. A dog park is like a big park. <laughs> But let's make two together to make it look like it's almost like one thing. Yeah, it's not really how I envision a dog park. Small oh, playground. Playground's tiny as well. Oh yeah, we never made a park maintenance depot. How's the emergency service situation for the new area? We have, I haven't built any... Oh, do you mean like fire and, and police? We'll have to check that. I haven't built any of the actual... Oh, I didn't realize we had landmark buildings. Um, didn't build any of the actual emergency shelters for people to run away to. These have expensive upkeep. 100 outdoor recreation, a botanical garden, 128,000 upkeep. A grand hotel, 128,000 a month. Let's get one of these. Well, it's 1.6 million, but I would love to have this somewhere like in here. This would be perfect. Botanical garden in between. I don't know, but it's a bit weird, I guess, in the suburbs, but it seems like that'd be a good spot for it. Nearby the university, actually, it's the same or the college. That's actually a great spot for it. 2000 XP. Oh, we actually need quite a lot. We need like 7,000 now. All right, oh, I'll try not to keep getting distracted, but I hadn't seen those before. Where even was that? Oh, it's in here in the landmark section. So Grand Hotel, a towering monumental hotel with a classic design. Yeah, interesting. It can be tiny. It's just an outdoor place to bring them. It's seen all sizes. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've only seen big ones. It's normally just a park, and it's like, this is a dogs are allowed kind of thing. An outdoor gym. It's so small again, so sure, you guys can have that. We need it in different locations. So we've got there, there, 
Something over towards the left, maybe. Maybe just up on the corner. We had the skate park. This basketball court. Get another two by two in there, maybe. Was this small playground? The large playground, small playground, outdoor gym. Just an outdoor activity area. Small playgrounds for the youngest children. The other one's a bit of a bigger one. Older, per older kids. Was it January? God, it's so miserable. All right, let's zone this joint. Office demand is collapsing. I assume some office is just being built. Are we happy with this? Have I forgotten anything? You did say about the services. They might need a medical clinic, a local clinic down here, uh, I think. Fire is obviously really far and police as well now. Although there's some patrol cars rolling around and buses, I guess. Mail accumulation. Can't just build a district anymore, man. There's so much to do to it. Good question. Are you doing daily streams? I was. I probably won't stream the weekend. Um, yeah, I did daily. I did four streams in a row. Probably, probably won't do that for a while now. Again. What I meant to say about the uh, cul-de-sacs is that it would be easier, I think, to link up with the walkable paths. Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah. I'm at work, so it's not explaining. No, that's okay, no worries. I'm sorry it took a while to respond to that. All right, let's uh, zone. I'll just use Phil. Any ideas for a name for this place? A nice in-lore name. Just a nice name. Nothing crazy. Not like Fart Town or Poop Phil. Do that bit, I guess. I don't even want that. Okay. Just cut this. We'll do that in the future, but not right now. It's called Emerson Creek right now. That's not the only thing I don't like about the district tool is... There we go. It can sometimes grab multiple districts when they're lined up next to each other. But other than that, it's pretty great. Small complaint. Shaggyville. <laughs> no. <laughs> do we have houses on the outside? Yeah, we do. Alright, people are moving in left, right, and center. Fayetteville Heights. Fayetteville. Where do you get most of your income from? Some special districts. Uh, no. Uh, I don't know. We were in the deficit for a long time, and then I recently increased taxes. And then we... So, the thing... When we were in, in the negative, what I did to get back into the positive was two things. We went over to our production tab and saw everything that we make and everything that we were in a deficit for. And then we went back to budget... Oh, sorry. Taxation. Opened up industrial. And I make wood, grain... Uh, so we have a logging industry, sorry. Logging industry, we have um, livestock, we have grain, cotton. That allowed me then to lower the taxes for things like vegetables, timber, paper, grain, furniture. Uh, wood, coal, rock, livestock, cotton. And then in the commerce section do kind of a similar thing. So lower the taxes for the things I want people to set up businesses for. I don't know if this has worked. This seems to have kind of worked. So lowered that stuff down and then raised the taxes for the other things. So then... I zoned fresh industry. We had a bit of a demand for it anyway, so new industries popped up. I assume they're now making the things that they're incentivized to do. That cuts out a sort of a middleman in terms of you don't have to import those things. They just get it directly from where I'm getting it from. On top of that, excuse me, I also raised the taxes just generally across the board. I was on about nine. Now we're between 14 and 16. So just big tax increase. People are still really happy. I think keeping them in the sweet spot of four, probably good. 
Um, yeah, high taxes actually has a, is at negative three. It was negative four, so that's fine. So yeah, those are the two things that have really improved it. Emerson Beach, Emerson Creek. Yeah, I'm not I'm not loving Fayetteville. Fayetteville. Emerson Beach, Emerson Coast. Hammer Heights for the new one. Anvil Center. <laughs> Well, we've got Shady Acres, Chesterfield, I don't know. Basically, just whatever kind of random name we can think of. I kind of like Emerson Beach, because it is next to the coast. Hmm. Uh, my name's really boring. I would go with something like Seaview, but... Shadier, yeah. <laughs> Shadier Acres. Let's go with Emerson Enclave then. Why not? It doesn't have to be Emerson, by the way. <laughs> not many policies in the game. Seems kind of low. Do you even get any more policies here? High speed highways, combustion, city promotion. And that's it then. Yeah, they need to add more. All right, people are moving in. Houses have been set up. Give them a bus stop and we can add them maybe to the Chesterfield route. Yeah, all right, so I'll put a bus stop somewhere. Maybe just, yeah, around here. Another one down here. Another one up here. And we can adjust that route. Perfect. All right, so let's grab this and just slam it into there. On the wrong side of the road, that bus stop. their mail and everything. So many people. Uh, you know what we didn't give them? Some shops and things. Maybe some shops could go on a little... We could have a little commercial street just here. Could be kind of nice. Uh, I suppose why not on the corner? Just a row of shops, convenience stores, that kind of thing, hopefully. And if we get other parks or interesting buildings, you can put them there maybe in the future. Alright, you have a notification icon out in the woods there. Oh, this one? That's to do with the um, cables not connected for the fire watchtower. The reason I never connected is because uh, I kept moving it. Get rid of that one, so that's gone. We have waiting for an ambulance. Yeah, so let's get another. I feel like we're making decent money. We can give them a medical clinic. Actually, that'd be perfect somewhere down here. So I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these businesses. Yeah, it's fine by me. Little medical clinic, little local medical clinic for these guys. Got a gap there. Don't know why. Let's just get rid of these two, and a new one might spawn then in a sec. There we go. Better. All right. Population increased. Happiness increased. They love it in the Emerson Enclave. Are we nearly out of winter? February will be the last month, I guess. I have to, time does go by really slow in this game. Got to really keep it moving. Um, I think the last thing I'll try to do before we wrap it up is maybe put down a railway. Would that take too long, I think? 
Or maybe. I feel like I need to expand it. Yeah, I'll actually have to leave that because... Oh, well, actually, maybe not. The rail line comes in here. I feel like I was going to put the rail yard here. Keep that line moving parallel to the highway. Go straight across and join back up here. I just don't have anywhere for them to get on and off like a station. <laughs> so that would be the only thing. I don't know where the station should be. I'd love it to be down in there, but I'd need kind of a way to bring it in and then bring it somehow back out that way. I don't know. Kind of tricky. We'd have to tunnel, I think. I think you could place livestock near the new district. Uh, yeah, we could. I mean, we have some already, but I guess there's no harm in having more. If they need the jobs. Let's see. I don't think, well, I gotta be honest, I don't think any of the farms look particularly pretty. This is livestock, for instance. Does that look good to you? You know? <laughs> we got a big mud field. Same with this one. This is supposed to be grain. Literally no grain to, in the game, so. I never actually checked on traffic in a while. What time is it now? 2.30 p.m. We could turn on the day-night cycle. There we go. God, there's so many people parking here. Should we? We should definitely put down a parking place for them to park. They clearly need it. Very large parking lot. Medium parking lot. We do have one right there, but they're not using it. I suppose what we need to do then is go. That's put downs Highland Gardens. Roadside parking fee. How much is it? Dude, it's still maxed out and they still pay that much to park there. It seems crazy. And we can also just reduce it a little bit, just the visual clutter, by having trees and stuff. Can you ban parking? Or do you just have to... You have to go with the wide sidewalks, I think. That way they can't park there. And then what we could do, as soon as this is residential here on the right side, hard to see, but put down grass... And then some trees. There's a bus stop there, so we don't see it there, but it's here now. Might encourage them using the actual car parks a bit more. Do a similar thing down here. Uh, maybe in a few hundred patches it will, yeah. Well, once they add an actual, like, grain vegetation that could look good if they ever add in grass that could look nice you know right now i just feel like we're playing like a late stage alpha but if this just had little wavy grain just blown back and forth that'd be all right i mean even if it just changed this to a yellow texture it'd probably be fine that's the way it is in city skylines one but yeah when you compare it to something like anna which has like the most amazing looking fields and it blows in the wind and stuff it's like oh my god We need to do something here, so I would say no crosswalks. That's insane. Uh, you shouldn't be turning left. I don't think you are, but just to make sure you're not. Yeah, I don't see any um, lines painted on the road. I guess these people might want to crosswalk because some people are actually walking to work. I did say that they need their own bus. I'm surprising that I'm surprised that they're walking to work rather than just getting a taxi or driving themselves. <laughs> Workplace the recycling center. And where are they coming from? Man, that is a heavy, hefty, long walk. You've got to walk all the way up and out. But there's a decent amount of jobs out here. I suppose it would make sense to give them some sort of way to get there and back. And stuff to do. So a bunch of passengers use go to go to the industry from these two districts. The suburbs to the high rises is also kind of busy. Island Gardens Loop and the Victoria Glade Loop is okay. Bus Line 5, that's the one we just have down south now. So that's 
Emerson, Shady Acres, Chesterfield. So we just call this the suburbs loop. Yeah, they need uh, they need a way up here. Ideally, this road could just connect down to that one as well. It's a kind of a gradual decline. Well, it's actually a really steep hill, but still, we can just give it a go. Connect it up, even if it's a bit haphazard for now. Manor Street. Manor Lords. Comes out on April 24th. Can't wait for that. Alright. Dedicated route to there from the city. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, such a massive hill, so I couldn't really build a road that leads straight up to it. So that's why this road is the main road that takes you up there. But now we've got another way as a sort of a loop gets you there as well. Uh, but yeah, I think a, a dedicated bus route that takes you there. I'm just trying to think of where should it come from, though. Just from in the inner city, maybe. One of the busiest spots is this, these two places here. So, let's make a bus stop, maybe. Crazy to have one there? Maybe, yeah. Well, I know that there's got to be one up here, so... Don't need any more. Then they can just loop back around, maybe. The bus could go onto the highway and just come back up that way, or it could come down and around. So I'm just wondering which it should do, I guess. Uh, this is going to be relatively low traffic and stuff, so I don't really mind adding another bus in there. Just worried about it getting too clogged by the time it gets up there. I think it's okay. Yeah, I've got an idea, actually, so here's what we'll do. Oh my god, this place is so jam-packed. Alright. So let's say we start here, we go to here. We're gonna go... I'll just put down a waypoint even for... That uh, seems like it'll be fine. Yep. I'm gonna keep going. You can drop people off... You can maybe make a stop even there. Make another stop there. And then cut into there. It's a pretty wide loop. You drop people off the suburbs if they happen to work there, I guess. Might as well. If you're passing by the area, I feel like why not just make a quick stop. But, so, that's like coming from a commercial and office area. So there's no route that takes you down there um, in terms of buses. But we should make one that does that as well, I think. Oh, sorry. I get so distracted in this game sometimes. Oh god, I wish I could remove sidewalks on normal roads. I wish I could remove sidewalks on normal roads. Uh, you, uh, you can, though, can't you? If you make the alley. Oh, it's only a two-lane road, though, yeah. Oh, it actually, oh, no, it says without sidewalks. But, yeah, I think you just have to use an alley. But you can't make a wide road with no sidewalk, I don't think. Unless you make a highway version. They don't have one. But, yeah. Yeah, bus is dropping off near there so they can get to the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they can actually take another route in anyway. That's a good point. It's on the way out.
don't know if it's a good idea telling a bliss to use that roundabout, but whatever. See how it goes. <laughs> I can't get over how many... Oh, that shouldn't be there. How many cars are parked everywhere? It's really crazy. Alright, so if I just open that again. We've now bus line 6. Farm. Sorry. They're just trying to think what I call that area. Services and suburbs. Give that one a different color. Services and suburbs. Call that one the red line. Red line. Oh, but it does actually go through the city as well, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I feel like it just needs a name rather than something like this. We'll just call this the... Tell you what, we'll call it the Darren line. Kind of confused. Wait a second. Where is this? Yeah, that's the outer line. Good. So what's what's this one then? Yeah. Okay. Good. I just got confused for a second. Uh, so this is Highland. So this is, takes you to Willow Downs. And that's Commerce, and offices. So make it blue. Brighten up the game. Oh, work loops. Why do you play games that make my brain hurt? I don't know. <laughs> it makes my brain hurt too. That's why I play Battlefield when I'm not doing work games. <laughs> Things where I don't have to think at all. Just gotta react. Uh, yeah, so very last thing I'd like to do then before we clock off today would be to declutter some of the roads. Not sure how to do that, but anywhere there's um, maybe residential I'll give them grass on the side. That's a mix of both. So that is kind of a commerce and residential. So that's fine. This is a three lane road, is it? It's because of the bus stop there. Don't mind them being on one side. So many cars. Okay. Oh, we've got loads of car parks, and a lot of them are free, aren't they? I thought we made them free. This one's not free. Free. Go park there, please. Move it slightly as well. I just took it in a bit. Can't do that now. That is a messy road, because if it goes... Yeah, yeah well. <laughs> is it the morning rush? No, it's the it's the people are coming home. 6.30. Third, oh, it's just traffic. Traffic jam. I've got three lanes, though. Oh, no, you don't. Are these cars just parked? Screw that. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, no, forget that. Make this a medium, five-lane, asymmetrical road. I'll stop them parking there as well. A bit better. Yeah, I don't know why there's so much why they're parking on all these things. Who's parking like at this roundabout and then walking in? It's so weird. And it's a medium road, so if it's a medium road, I don't think I can even stop that, can I? Or just you just add wide side sidewalks to it. Yeah, stop parking near roundabouts, man. It's weird.
I don't know if it really affects them. I just don't like the visual noise of it. What Battlefield game you like? Um, well, at the moment, I'm playing 2042. It's gotten, like, way, way better. Uh, I played it on launch, and then it refunded it. And then about a year and a half later, with, I think, Season 5 update, I thought it became really good. When the, Well, I still I have issues with it and everything, but it's not perfect. But anyway, my first real introduction to Battlefield was um, Bad Company 2. I used to play that quite a bit. I didn't actually own it. I played it in the... When I was in college, with, like on a friend's Xbox, basically. But I'm a PlayStation gamer, primarily. Um, but then I was all in for Battlefield 3. When they revealed that, I was like, this looks so good. Um, and I was like a COD kid, I suppose, before that. So um, I think Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, that was the last Call of Duty I played. So I never played Modern Warfare 3. That was the one that came out around the same time as Battlefield 3. Swapped to Battlefield. Loved it. Battlefield 3 became one of my favorite games. And then Battlefield 4. Really liked that as well. A lot of people had launch issues with that. Battlefield 4 is where I moved from console to PC, actually. Because I used to be... I played it on console. On PS3. And then... Um, yeah... Really liked Battlefield 1. I even liked Battlefield 5. I just thought the content was really little in it. There's very, like, not much content. People had loads of issues in that game. And I actually liked it even on launch. And I remember just hitting the max rank and then just never playing it again. And I don't think I... I think I came back to it a few months after the Pacific update. So I kind of missed um, the hype around that a little bit. But I came back to it and I was like, this is still great. <laughs> um, then... I started playing it again because I just couldn't think of a shooter to play around Season 5 of 2042. And I played Battlefield 1, but it was just, there were so many cheaters in it. I never really complained about cheaters, but it was blatant. People, like, skipping around the map with infinite grenade launchers, just annihilating trains and blimps out of the sky the instant they came into the map. That kind of thing. I was just like, oh, it's too much. So then I um, tried 2042, and I was like, this is great. So... That's what I've been playing at the moment. Really like the finals as well. I've played that a little bit, and I have the beta, the new beta as well. Plan I'm playing this weekend. But anyway, there you go. I played 1942 when it came out in 2000. And I love Battlefield 2. Yeah, I've never played any of the OG ones. Feel a bit bad. Always like the look of Vietnam as well. That looked cool. Balance your bus counts before you go. Yeah, that's the thing. I guess I was just gonna leave it up to seeing how many people were using these things. Wonder what that means. 20% usage. Like Willow Downs, zero passengers. Is it, what's the percentage though? Out of, oh, like how many vehicles there are? That's how many are being filled right now, maybe? If that's the case, then that could be quite low. Yeah, it must be, right? It's like, this is how many of the buses are full. Twenty-one passengers. That's good. Went up to thirty-one. So now that it's at thirty-one, I know there's more than one bus, but yeah, now the usage has popped up. So it's obviously how many people are on the bus at any given time. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's just go by, I'll just do by length, and then we'll just adjust these slightly. So that's, let's do seven. Just wind it down until they get full, and then it's like, okay, now we need more. Or if there's a lot of traffic or something, you can add more and see if that helps. That's six, I'll already changed that one. Oh yeah, we should check some st statistics, and then that's definitely going to be it. <laughs> Suburbs. That's... These ones are pretty much fine, I think. Try go down a little bit. Ticket prices are $8 for each one. You have one with zero. Zero buses. Okay. Assigned vehicles three. They might not have rolled out yet. Could that be why? Or is there a bus depot capacity, actually? Maybe. <gasps> we're, at, we're at capacity. Wow. Didn't have that problem in the previous game. Extra garage, please. That's cool. Will they come out of the new one or the old one? Probably the old one, I would imagine. Yeah. 
Oh, they come out of both. That's neat. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, interesting. So I guess uh, got to keep an eye on that. Good call on spotting the fact that it said zero. <laughs> zero buses in use. How much does each... I didn't even check the money on that, but how much does each one of these... We we're at 25. It adds an additional 10, is it? Yeah. 29 out of 35. That's cool. All right. How are my trees looking? A little bit better. High school, doing okay. Elementary school, it's almost full. I'll have to start adding on an extension wing. More pupils, playground, and the clinic. I can't add on the clinic, actually, unless I get rid of some of the shops and things that are nearby. Got rid of most of the um, not enough customers problem, so that's good. High rent, not enough customers. That's fine. A little bit of that is okay, just a tiny bit. Still have it out here though. What's your problem? You've got the rock musician mansion is complaining about high rent. First of all, why is he renting? <laughs> or she? Rockstar lives in this mansion while not on tour. Oh, I guess maybe they rented out when they're away. Oh my god, it's winter. It's snowing. Hey, Regulus, appreciate that again. Thank you for the three dollar super chat. How do you feel uh, sorry how do you deal with commercial zones not having enough customers um so the way i've dealt with it from yesterday was by moving them closer to customers so when you go into zoning and you go to commerce you get this overview All right so we'll just go to residential so we go to commercial we get this overview the first thing is saying um commercial suitability on the roads so all these roads are suitable to having commerce i guess but the next one is customers where your customers are and if you build outside of that range, they just do not have enough customers. Unlike City Skylines 1, I feel like they go really far in City Skylines 1 to get to the shops. They'll commute to the shops. In this game, it doesn't seem to be the case. They seem to be, they need them nearby, at least for low density. It might be different when it gets to high density. I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. But for low density, these are local stores that need to be nearby. So just move them directly like i'm talking across the road so you might inherently th and thank you again regulus you might inherently think well what about noise pollution this doesn't seem to be as big a deal in this game than it was before so again looking at our filters the sources of pollution obviously my commercial buildings uh, some of these are mixed commercial by the way residential and commercial but if you pull back a bit let's get rid of traffic noise this is noise pollution map in general. So blue is nothing. So there's no noise pollution here. But even if we zoom right in, it's unfortunate that the zoning is showing because it really shouldn't for this type of thing. But you can see in these houses, this is there's no noise pollution in here. Even though they're, let's choose people that have literally have um, commerce in around them. It's a zero noise pollution behind them, pretty much. So it's, it's way more tolerable than I suppose the last game, if you're comparing to that one. So these are producing noise pollution. These, these houses are one street over from several shops and they're fine. So I guess that's that's the situation. <laughs> I can't even find anywhere that's high. The, the busiest place for noise is our elementary school. It's like in the mid tier range. It's that yellowy orangey color color. So yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't worry about noise pollution and I would just put shops much closer to um, houses. So they get customers. Looks quite nice in snow. Um, in winter. <laughs> in snow. Alright guys, I think that's gonna have to be it. I'm not sure there's much else to do. I wanted to build, uh, rail and trams, but I just don't think the city is big enough for that yet. Obviously it's nice to forward plan these things, but, um, yeah, we fixed, we fixed a lot, right? I fixed the no customers issue. We learned that in the game. We made our industries way more profitable and better situated and located. I built a decent exchange on the highway. It works. <laughs> so that's good. And it was fun to make. Much easier than it was when I did it in CS1. We started treating water. Uh, we cut off rail completely. It was just going through the map anyway. Added two extra suburbs. Emerson, Enclave, and Chesterfield. What else did we do? 
Didn't have the confidence to put the university down just yet, but we hit 14,000. We only grew about 5,000 people, not that much, but we just sorted out a lot more problems. And I think we reduced traffic overall, though I think it's still not great. Um, yeah, traffic flow is mid at best in our downtown areas. Ideally, I think trams will sort that out in the future. That's something I would like to actually really pay attention to and look at. It's like, where are people all going? It is pedestrian cars, mostly. Transporting destination Sterling Street. Hmm. Yeah, it's just, I'd, see, in CS1, you could click a road and it would tell you where everyone's moving on it. And that was quite useful. You're like, oh yeah, loads of people are going from here to here. But you don't have that in this game. It's more individual. I'm guessing they will add it. Oh, garbage truck. Um... But it makes it hard to know like why things are so busy. I've set up buses. It's relatively cheap, I think. Buses will take you straight to your jobs, wherever your jobs are. Every place that does jobs has a bus route, so that's good. And every suburb and the downtown has um, connections to buses. So I think they just need like stuff like trams and maybe even wider roads or something to lower down the amount of traffic. It also is dependent on the time. Like at midnight now, it shouldn't be as bad, but it, it does show you over the course of the day. 0, 6, 12, 18. So, you know, I guess 6 and 6 are kind of peak times. Traffic flow, especially when people are coming home, gets pretty bad. And then traffic volume. Traffic volume is almost better than traffic flow in some ways. It just shows you which roads are getting used the most. That I expect it to be this one. This is going on and off the highway, right? So that's totally normal. And then traffic is slowing down on these ones and getting pretty bad at certain junctions. So I guess I could go in there and get really granular with some of the signs and stuff like that as well. There's only two roads that take you to... Well, there's three that take you to industry in total, I guess. Here, here, and here. Uh, unless you decide to go out and around, but nobody's going to do that. Anyway. Sorry that you think got deleted. What did you say? Just upgrade your school and college. Upgrade your school and college. Why? It's um not full yet. Not that it needs to be. I know you can have um what's it called? More efficiency and everything. And sorry that your thing got banned. It, again, all typing in all caps, that happens. If you just type normally, I'll be able to see it. I can't believe I missed your live stream. I've been watching a movie. Uh, what was the movie? <laughs> yeah, uh, no worries. Um, but yeah, I don't know when I'll be back for streams, but I think I'm ready to start a series, even though it'll probably be quite messy like this one. Oh, we're low on uh, sewage. Border treatment. Borderline. That needs to be fixed. Is this the water treatment plant? Yeah. Add on one of these big bad boys. It don't increase that capacity. I love the upgrades. I think it's so cool that you can do that. I wish there was way more. And I wish there was smaller ones. Like, I've said it before, but I almost wish, like, this building was just this building here. I don't want to look stupid now. I didn't actually do that, did I? No, I was wondering if I already expanded it. But it's like, this area right here should be the one building, and this, then, should be the first module, and then another module, and so on. I almost feel like they start you off too big. Like the bus depot, just show me that, and then I'll add parking, and then I'll add like the, the warehouses. I think that'd be cool, but don't know if they'll ever revert that now. So I did, I just put that down without even really looking. Did that not fix that? Sewage treatment's still the same. Well, we could actually increase the budget for it, because I remember that was heavily nerfed. We still have the pollution in the water out this way, by the way, and we got rid of that months ago. Anyways, the efficiency is good. Yeah, let me check that again, just because I wasn't sure what we just added. Do a treatment 2,500 per month. What's the base level? Three hundred thousand. Oh wow, but so that does really nothing by comparison. Tw wait a second. That can't be right. Two thousand five hundred. That does 300,000. One module is only doing 2,500. Not 250,000, not 25,000. 
2,500. That's got to be bugged, right? That has to be 25,000. Otherwise, the amount you'd need. And the upkeep is 40,000. Not bugged, but like a wrong data entry. It must do. It must be. 40,000 upkeep. This is 63,000 upkeep. And 300,000. <laughs> I'm looking at the same building, all right? Yeah, that can't be right. That's that's crazy as an upgrade. An extra processing unit. That's got to be 25,000 at least to even make close sense. But even then, it would be quite low. So, No wonder it didn't do anything when I put it down. And what does this do? Purification rate has increased 25%. Hmm. Interestingly, it actually puts out water back into the system, right? So we ended up... We probably don't need the water pumps over there anymore. Or you could get rid of at least one. The, what is it? 4,000 and 4,000... 52,000 and 54,000. Yeah, we could get rid of one. Yeah. We don't sell our water, so there's no point running it. Anyway, sorry. I can get distracted this game. I could play it forever. Anyway, probably your water budget is low. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw that now and fixed it, obviously. Um, where would buses go if no parking? Uh, they go back into the warehouse. That's where they come from. They come out of here. I know there's a lot. But you never see them park, so I don't know. <laughs> they just roll out of that building, don't they? I assume this parking is actually for the employees, but you're right. They're, they're huge bays. They must be for the buses. It increases the speed of processing, not the total capacity. Am I reading it wrong? Hang on. No, it says increased processing capacity for the facility. Yeah, it's it's not that because the capacity of processing water, um, sewage here, it can treat 300,000 per month with a purification rate of 50%. Okay, so it's purifying H half the sewage we get, we turn back into water. This is saying sewage treatment, 2,500 per month. So is that increasing the purification rate? No, our purification rate is still 50. Let's just test something real quickly. I put that back up to 100, just so we have a completely balanced number, as it should be. Now we have 330,000, because our efficiency is 9%. Employee happiness is giving me 9%. Which is giving me an additional like 4,000 sewage treated per month. 4,000 extra. So the purification rate stayed the same. Usage 25%. And the water output hasn't changed either. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I already did get rid of the sewage outlets. The water is just still brown from a long time ago. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to know, but it does definitely see like seem like you need a bigger hospital. Don't have the money for it. Um, so they'll just have to make do. We probably need to just increase the budget, actually. See, I haven't increased my budgets of things to keep up with the population growth. So we can put that back up now. I'll roll more vehicles out and deal with more people being sick. And yeah, the crematorium can handle more as well now. Anyway, we'll leave it. I gotta leave it. Real fun, though. I have to come back and stream this more, right? Maybe on Monday. Mondays is when I normally stream. I normally only stream once per mo once per week. So I think... I think on Monday I'll be back and we'll continue this city. But in the meantime, I'll be working on a new... I think a new game and start a series. It would be quite fun. So it's a typo. It is processing 25,000, not 2,000. No, it's not. Just to go over this one last time. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, you might be right, actually. Well, what's 9% of 300,000? Let me just do this. Calculator. So let's pretend it is 302,500, right? Because 2,500 is what it said. So we're adding that to 300,000. So three, I'll just show you one. So our base number is 300,000. 
right? Plus the 2,500 we're adding on. And then we need to get 9% of that. So we just go 9 divided by 100 times 302500. That's 27,225, which we will now add back to our 302500. And we get 329725. It's just math. <laughs> So no, it is still doing it at 2,500. It's not changing the purification rate. The efficiency we know isn't coming from the building. It's coming from the happiness of our employees because they're loving life out there. People that work here. So yeah, so I'm not, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's hard to say the word is a bug or not. It's clearly, it needs to be more than that. That is really low right 2500 is extremely low i would say even 25000 is is low that's broken low <laughs> but if it was 25000 i guess things do scale with efficiency which is nice but even if it was 25000 if you compare it to the upkeep 40000 upkeep for 25000 is a bad deal when you compare it to the base uh wastewater treatment is 105000 and you get 30000 300000 out of it so basically, for every 100,000 upkeep you're putting in, you're getting 300,000 out. Which is okay, fair enough. For every 100,000 upkeep of this, let's say double it, you're only getting 5,000. It would have to be like 500,000 for that to... Not even 500, it would have to be somewhere like, yeah, about 250 overall, 250,000. It's crazy, it's definitely wrong. That's the only one I've seen that's really way off. It can't be right, that number. It's just super, super not right. Yeah, it should be. It feels like it should be 250k, and that would be a decent amount then. It's gonna be a massive update. Hammond Lane with the console versions coming out. Oh, Puff is just. <laughs> and I know you explained it before, but you're, how you write is so interesting and strange. Are you waiting for it on console? Yeah. Yeah, I think it won't be till I don't know, if someone said June. That seems really far. I would have assumed March or April, but we'll see. All right, guys, that's going to have to be it for me. I had a blast today. Thank you so much for the support, the super chats, the, the memberships, and people just being here chatting. The subscriptions as well, of course. Helps the channel grow. Uh, and I definitely want to come back and do more. Enjoying the city. We're shaping it slowly into something that works and makes sense. Room for more suburbs. Room for more big downtown stuff. Offices and, that, and the like. Difficult. I actually find the game kind of quite challenging to get it to a stage where I can fill all these zones and balance everything and keep it going. But it's been really fun to learn so far. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Um, and yeah, there's our overall metrics. Still have, excuse me, some unemployment that we got to sort. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. I think I'll be back on Monday. So make sure you hit subscribe. Click the bell, I guess. If you want to see some uh, more streams on Monday. Satisfactory content will be resuming as well, obviously, on Tuesdays is when it comes by. And I think I'll be starting a new series, a new city, now that I've taken all my learnings, building a big old suburb and trying to, like, level up with XP with that and then reshape it into a bigger city as time goes on. I think that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, one last thing, actually. I keep saying that, but how's our guy who set fire to that place? He's sleeping right now. Works for the police. They'll never know. Oh, he actually tweeted once. I think I found the one. Thanks for being in my life, Rachel Tucker. What the hell? That's pretty cool. And yeah, they still live there. And Rachel's right here. <laughs> Love the way she laughs. <laughs> and is he making her part of... What's going on, by the way? The graphic graphics of this game sometimes. Come on, game. Load things in. She's sleeping. <laughs> hey, we found our first uh, narcoleptic. Is that the right word? Just sleeping. Just sleeping with her eyes wide open. Next to the... And, you know, her husband or whatever works for the police. And we know that he set fire to that place. Building a little story. We gotta follow these two. She sleeps out in the... <laughs> She's a day walker. Um, mm. Oh, that was a bit of a grunt. Maybe she's not all she seems. <laughs> right. We'll leave it on that note. When will you start the series? I'm not sure. I need to play around first. I'm very, um, I'm terrible at games. Well, until I get a really good run, good first episode. It'll be out next week sometime. Satisfactory is on Tuesday, so I would imagine Thursday. 
So we'll see. All right, that's got to be it. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for hanging out, and I will hopefully see you next week. Have a great weekend, by the way, and thanks for all the support. Really do appreciate it, so thank you. And goodbye, Anne.